Do you really vibe with Mike, though, be honest? Uh, more than anyone else, like, if you think about it, I've been around a bunch of streamers, and they're like, yo, Zerka, Zerka, and I just stay alone. But Mike's fucking hilarious, man. I just gotta stop calling him funny in moments like this. Like, I really want to laugh, because he's entertaining with the eye and shit, talking about like, getting a patch. But I'm like, yo, if I laugh, am I encouraging this behavior? I'm viral, bitch. You know what I mean? Diddy tried to instigate this fight. I'm thinking of Puff. Who's Diddy? The DJ? Tried instigating this fight for an hour? Yo, I gotta see this. Where's the vote? Are you guys saying DJ Diddy uh, is a rat? He was there. But just because you're there, does it mean you're guilty? Let's find out. No, I see what you're saying, bro. It's like the only friend Mike had there, right? My homie's girl friend. just got caught getting her guts ripped out. My a huge strong guy like you. He's a simp. How do I tell him to man the fuck up? He, what? I don't. I don't have advice for that. Five dollars. Dragon year is hitting Mike more than it's hitting you. Well, it's based off karma, right? I'm not getting into trouble. Like I went to a. I'm not getting that much trouble. Like I went to a bar. It's actually very weird. I went with my boys to a bar, uh, and we're just going to get some beers, just like a couple hours ago. And this guy walks up to me and goes, "No way!" And I look at him and I'm like, "Oh, here comes trouble." So I'm like, "Yes way." And we look at each other, and he just keeps walking. And it turns out he's, like, a nice guy. Uh, and my friends are fucking retarded. Because, like, an hour passed, and they're like, who was your friend? I was like, no, it's because I'm famous, guys. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, but I don't get in that much trouble because I don't really stay around. Like, who are these people, DJ Diddy and stuff? Are they 100 viewer guys? They need that kind of content, bro, to stay afloat. All I know is, deep down, even Diddy don't fuck with Mike. I can guarantee you it. I'm not just speculating. Mike piped his chicks too. Like, remember that call we had where I said, Mike, I, you know how many enemies you have that you don't know are your enemies because you just fucking dog them? Diddy says he misses you. I don't even know who the fuck Diddy is. How the fuck do you miss me? I don't know. You're my backdrop, bro. Like, God, who the fuck are you? How can you miss me? We never even fuck. We don't know who you are, bro. Am I being mean or is this guy actually? Yo, send me the vod, bro. Let's let's see if let's see the instigation. Uh. Yeah, DJ Diddy with the uh, shirt guy. I know him. Yeah. Bro, he caught her through the house window getting her back blown out by a huge black nigga. What He the was fuck? doing gut surgery on his bitch. Why? He accepted why her do back. You, why do you think I'm qualified to give you advice here? For trauma, I don't give advice. You're going to go through it, bro. Like, I don't... What do you think? I'm Andrew Tate? This is what you got to do, bro. He has experience with that. I don't. What, do, what, do you, what advice do you want me to give your buddy? Like, don't see your girl getting railed by a big black man? Stop that, bro. Stop donating. All right. Send me the VOD. No, fuck Twitter clips. I want the whole VOD. I want to go see where it starts. Because if you guys pinpoint the instigation, I'll be on board with that shit. I'll be like, you know what? Blacklist this fucking cloud chaser. It's on Diddy's? Oh, he didn't get banned? Okay. DJ Diddy. Wait, what? 5K followers? What the? Is this it? Seven hours ago? Alex is on the way, so it's like four. Sophia, come on. Sophia's a great girl. Good ass personality, bro. Very W vibes, bro. W vibes, Sophia. No, give me the cheek. No one can see. 20 oils, 20, 20, 20. Is this Doherty's place? I have had a language 
Oh, this is looking. This is looking already like Mike's. Uh, let's see. So whose bitch is this? Why is Mike around her? <laughs> Mike is Mike is fucking laser. He's the he's the uh, Fortnite streamer. He's lasering. He's honing in on her. Because I remember once I said to Mike, I'm like, how would you even know when you get jumped again? Because Mike talks like it's going to happen. And so do I. I'm like, bro, you just go to, like, everywhere, right? And I'm like, how are you going to know? Because if you're piping every chick, how many scorned fucking men are, th are out there? <laughs> This is like a two out of ten. Yeah. You too good for her. Yeah. Okay, I got baited, bro. Why are we, why are we promoting this? Okay, where's the vod? YouTube. All right. Let's see. Yeah. DJ. Oh, fuck. Heal Mike. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's last few weeks ago. What the hell? What the fuck? That's me. He got... Oh, yeah, this happened. Okay. This is fake. This is totally fake. <laughs> Wait, here it is. This is one minute long. Louis, calm down or what? Calm down. Calm down. Well, that's my brother. Calm down, calm down sir. Calm down. Who is he? He's good, he's good, he's good. Sure? No problem, my car. No, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. But why? That's why I wish you would not fucking went outside. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop, 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 stop. Oh, no fight, no fight. Stop, stop, stop. Stop it. That's the one that got him, yeah? There, there. So what what happened, bro? Why is this guy mad? Hey, don't speak on my name. Don't, don't speak on my name. That's all I'm gonna say. I, can I say so so thing? fucking with Hill something? Mike. Fucking with Hill Mike, right? This is what happened with fucking with Hill Mike, oh, right? Me again. This is what happened with fucking with Hill Mike, hey, right? Chill, bro. This is what happened with fucking with Hill Mike. Chill, bro. Chill. No, you still no, fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, that's a setup, bro. That's a setup, bro. These guys this is such a setup. Me. Oh, Mike's good. Stop, stop. Yo, bro. Stop, bro. Go, 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 go. You're good. Okay, so stop, bro. Mike. Bro, this this gotta be acting. Look at this guy. Yo, Mike's good. Stop, stop. Yo, bro. Stop, bro. Go, 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 go. This guy's acting, bro. Diddy's. You're good. Okay, so stop, bro. Mike's good. He's pretty much saying you got the clip. Stop. This is great for stop. the lawsuit. Woo! So you followed me out, hit me? Where the whole? Where's the whole thing, though? How the fuck no one post Hill Mike fight? What's the guy name? Why is so many fights pop up? What the fuck, Mike? What are you doing? Uh, anyone got the vote? It's probably just gonna be a uh, Mike drinking, saying a joke, and then a dude just cornering, just looking at him from the corner, waiting for it. Right? That's the whole vote. I mean, ask Sagan. What ringing sound? I'm hearing it too now. Man, the old tweet, the old kick would leave it on for like a week. Uh, it's because Mike effed Murphy's girl days prior who's murphy and what's the girl look like let me see I imagine she's ugly i'm gonna fucking lose it dude <laughs> i 
I can't believe this is like all within six months of trouble. This is all heal Mike trouble within six months, bro. What the fuck? Yeesh. I like this guy. This guy's content. HS. <laughs> Come on, nobody has the VOD and you guys all watched it. How many views did it have? Wow. L, L chat, bro. Okay, what do I search up to find? Uh... Oh, I guess we're stuck. Fuck, man. I'm the only one who missed all of it. I just... Damn. No, this is the scary part, chat, is... The scary part is, um... The scary part is uh, all the clout that goes to Mike and he associates his mind with views and trouble. Whereas usually this is kind of like how people do it once in a blue moon, but this is like every week for him. Yeah. A full vote on Twitter. Is this guy lying? Okay, let me go. I'm log in Twitter now for this. Fuck. Hold on. What worried me the most is when Mike said, I'll be live tomorrow. And I'm like, where? Where are you going to IRL stream? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I couldn't yell at him on the call. So I was just like, yo, just call me tomorrow. Like, this is crazy, bro. Okay. Heal Mike. Oh, this is like a is this Hex's burner. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is just the fight though. Where's the full VOD? Wait, what the fuck? I did. You think I would be friends with Zerka? You think I'd be friends even with Sagan if he just started waking up and showing up late to my job? <laughs> no, 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 no. Once you become friends with people who bring you down, that's when you become okay with meteorocracy, become a loser. What? <laughs> what the fuck did I do, bro? This is a day before. Uh, my own mother and father could become losers and I'd be like, what happened to you? You're a loser. Oh, they okay, they, oh I know what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. Luck, but I would say, I'd be like, you're a loser. You should genuinely think, I'm serious when I say this, you should genuinely think about killing yourself. Like, what the fuck, bro? I'm the, oh, I'm dead, sir. I'm a cold motherfucker. <laughs> oh, if you're not God, benefiting God. me, I'm not benefiting you. We live based, one life. Based. We live one fucking life, dude. Dude, if you disagree with me and you think I'm being cold, then you genuinely mean that oh, you think he, XQC on. should be with adept. Dude, <laughs> the fuck? Fat cow. Yeah, what the, the fuck is he? Three out of ten. <laughs> and XQC. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh. <laughs> Don't drag adept in here before she gets your ass, Mike. A fish could take both of us. That's Broly and we're Goku and Vegeta getting fucking hooked. Oh, love. Can you see that? Aye, aye, aye. <sighs> you, know, I, you know what's weird is his chat would say for weeks, like, yo, careful, Mike, don't go here. And, and like, as much as they kick, they're... They're all on the same, like, we're all on the same page. All chats are on the same page that Mike is moving way reckless. Like, if you search up, if you YouTube heal Mike, the last 10 VODs look like this. Well, not like this, but they have the potential to be like this. 
We've been telling him Diddy is a snake. Yeah. I didn't think I'd even... Well, I was surprised when I saw them together. I'm like, damn, you must be bored out there, bro. Why are you chilling with... Uh... Like, I know who Mike chills with. It's not these guys. Okay. Oh, God. Is he posting stuff? This guy is... Fun... <laughs> bro, on the call, it was so funny because I'm like, you didn't feel it at all, right? And then he's like, nope. Because, you know, I know when you're drunk as shit. I'm like, you're feeling it right now, aren't you? And he's holding it. He's like... Honestly, no. <laughs> I was like, shut the fuck up, bro. You got to stop this shit. You got to stop, bro. You gotta... He's literally Batmaning hard, bro. Right? <laughs> He's Batman. He's drunk Batman. He's just... Most of all, so people can see. It's bullshit, dead ass. <laughs> no, it's not, bro. That's... God damn. What's this, buddy? Yo, what's up, baby? You up? How sexy I look. <laughs> hey, baby, you should stay tonight. God, God damn. Yeah. I, I'd rather have blunt force trauma dealt to that than a cut. Like, what if you what if you fuck with your vision for life? Like, like what if his if the white if the sclera, sclera gets cut, you're fucked. Fought me over me banging his girl. Oh. Okay, I can't lie. He didn't knock me out. That motherfucker can. So wait, that guy who fought him was the guy that Mike was with his not girlfriend, like oh, his thing or whatever. HS didn't even get you that bad. HS don't got hands like this guy, bro. HS, HS got pillow hands, bro. This guy, this fucking 120-pounder guy, bro. He's You know what's sad, though, is you could tell that guy, what, what was his name? You could tell he went home feeling like the man. Like, he's like, look, I attacked the drunk dude. This is great, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. One punch. Eddie, unban me and make sure my... Yeah, he got him, because that's not one punch. That's multiple on the same shit. Fucking VOD is in goddamn deleted. That's bullshit if my VOD's deleted. Like, once people see the evidence of me literally trying to, like, oh, that was crazy. I got jumped. And it was like a 10v1. Oh, my God. Look at that cut. That's a bad cut. Jeez. Dang. I need a hospital and some head. Immediately, dude, stop, bro. And he posts the vault. You stop, bro. This is what I worry that he loves this part of it, all right? And I've had so many buddies like this where they like love it more and more, and then it gets worse and worse. And uh, what is this? My hands look still pretty low. Oh, what a guy, you know. <sighs> Yeah, Mike scares me because he's the only friend I've ever had who doesn't do cocaine. But he does more coke energy shit than all my coke buddies. Like, at this point, I want him to switch. <laughs> I feel like, alcohol is numbing this guy, bro. Jeez, so you, what the fuck? I don't think I'll ever see out of this eye again. No, oh, don't say that, knock on wood, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, mom. I got assaulted. I got set up. My hands look still pretty low. What a guy. You know. <sighs> okay, this guy is a fucking. Wait, what? The game gotta be bad if I fuck your bitch and your uh, your get back is not dumping her. I gotta see what the bitch look like. Jump me. You gotta, you gotta. Link. Why didn't you just fuck her better? You had people jump me. <laughs> oh. Uh, Mike did coke last night. Watch the bro. I've been to so many parties with Mike where there's a bunch of blow on the table, and Mike will just grab the bottle and just drink it. He doesn't touch it. He doesn't, but he acts just like he is worse than a coke kid, bro. Wait till I touch the news. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let me see what. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying. I'll never see how I again. Uh, hey, this is a Batman character, bad dude. I'll fuck your bitch, and your uh, your get back is not dumping her, but having people jump me. You gotta. You gotta. Why didn't you just fuck her better? You had people jump. Dude, 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 stop. Stop, because they're going to multiply, bro. They're going to be like, he's at this spot. Oh, I'm not there, bro. Can you guys get him, bro? 
And, you know, the boys, they're like, they're not going to say, I know you're hurt, your hole got bugged. They just go, they know he's hurt, so they want to do it for the, their homies. And they're always going to do it. Oh. Wait till I text the Jews. <laughs> what does that mean? He's okay. going to get them banned? Let me see what, uh, let me see what. Are they streamers? You guys are sad. I know Diddy I'll is. I'll never see how sad again. How come Mike didn't say he got set up, though? Right? Yikes, look at that one. <laughs> Who is this? Who has a clip? Sweater, bro. Stop. You. What the fuck, dude? This guy got no character development, this sweater guy. Right. Where's the clip? Send me the fucking clip, bro. Oh, sweater's the guy who got stomped out by Mike. What am I saying? Of course he's happy. <laughs> Holy shit. Sweater. Bro, pull up the clip, bro. <laughs> Yo, Sweater, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, no, you're not celebrating. Bro, we'll celebrate you getting stumped the fuck out, you fucking. Oh, yeah, this goes full circle. Oh, Sweater was waiting for this moment. He's like tier three for this. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Let me see this shit. So the, this guy's a YouTuber too? <laughs> that day was so much healthier, bro. Way less Percocet. Okay. I don't think you knew that. I'm, you just yo, I'm going to lose it if it's one of those types of girls, you know? She better be hot as fuck if this happens. Did you notice that when you started working for me? I'm actually serious. Did you get that red flag? Like, that this guy's pop? Yeah. Did that cameraman you know, get jumped? Real? I'll be real with you. First time I met you, first few weeks we streamed together, you know what my thought process about was you was? He's pretty good. This? How am I gonna replace him? Oh, I thought about using you the second I met you. What I'm is thinking, this? I'm not even kidding. I genuinely thought you were just a pawn in my fucking long term game. But what is I, I really like you now. Now Oh no, this is this is getting too cute. This is getting too cute. Jeez. Okay, bro, sweater. You're still a fat fucking faggot that will never ever have a wife and kids because nobody wants that fat faggot father at Walmart. No one wants this archetype. It's like this is the archetype that gets cheated on. Like you, you're always at the barber, always getting the sick fade. But what's the point of having a square fade when your head's a fat fucking swollen looking testicle? You look like. The rejection of Mexico. You know, Mexicans are actually good looking. Like, how the fuck did you turn out like this? And like a boil. Like, you you look like girls don't fuck you because they think you have STDs from how you look. But you're clean as a whistle. Nobody hops on this fat, chode, fat car. We know it's fat. We know you have a fat, round-looking Yeti microphone for a cock. And it's like, bro, sweater, you don't want to form bad karma, bro. Your bitches leave you at what well, your bitches are leaving you when you're famous, homie. <laughs> Imagine when when the gravitational pull of Aiden goes away. Imagine then. You go back on the street fucking flirting with bouncers and shit for your garbage ass content. Look at this fucking ugly fuck. I tried to be nice to this guy, but I just can't, bro. Like, bro, I just can't. I can't. This the check? Oh, someone was shot on my stream. What the fuck? I'm surprised you didn't know what's up. No way. Oh. Yeah, this is this dragon year is going hard for Mike. You gotta get the fuck out of there, bro. <laughs> Soon we're gonna like knock on wood, but who we're waiting for that yo chat <laughs> one bullet <sighs> I fucking tank that shit <sighs> W <laughs> Street, like, knock on wood, bro. This guy's... I hate to call Mike brave, because then he'll continue to do this, you know? But he's... This is... Yeah, this is Sweater. This is what Sweater looks like to women, right? Hey, you guys! <laughs> All right, let's see. Sorry, I'm here. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
What a queen. He's still fucking wheeling, bro. Stop doing sex magic, bro. You're still wheeling. Just go to bed, like, Go to fucking bed. It's like when I lived with him, every night I would just go to my room and leave him with the chicks. And I'd see one chick go in his room and I'm like, every night? You're the dog. You're a fucking dog, bro. Like, every single night he has to rub one out on someone's forehead. Like, why is she here? What a queen. Hey, you. Thank you. Wow, bro. Dude, get out of here. I don't know this guy. Get, uh, get him out. I'm kidding. I'm joking. What is this? I don't know. I don't need that. Yeah, he's the type to go live at the hospital. Thank you so much. I need it. I'm just trying to look cool for social media. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy's fucked up, bro. This is this is my fucking. Show me your friends, and I'll show you who you are. Post the vault so people can see it. Bullshit, that ass. God damn, what's this, buddy? Yo, chat is sweater God a leech fat ass faggot, or am I just bitter? Like, be honest, the straight up. You would you guys be homies with that guy? You know. Am I crazy or is the guy fucking... He couldn't wait for this moment. This is like if HS got jumped I, and I went live and I... Yeah, I'm so happy that happened. That's like faggot language, bro. I don't speak your language, Mexican. Right. I'm down. Let's collab. I feel like we'd be good even with the... What the fuck, bro? This Citrus wants to collab? No, he's baiting him. What the fuck? We just got invited. It's crazy how that mustache actually makes him look like me look like a pedo. Like it's Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal. Cop donated five dollars. Sweater watching you like Sneeko watched. Sweater watching bro, sweater. <laughs> Get those bots going, bro. Your career is almost it's almost ended. <laughs> Aiden's almost bored of you, bro. <laughs> Bored of you like the whores that leave you, bro. You haven't had the warmth of a woman for longer than 20 minutes ever in your life. You're fucking lonely, fat-ass faggot. Are you going to report me again? Report me, bitch. Report me. You guys look like faggots when you report. I get banned for a month, and then you guys just like, yeah, W snitching. Yeah, W. Yeah, snitch-ass community. Go W that, you fucking faggot. It, on God, bro, on God, I don't really get angry for Citrus. I don't really get angry for him. Cuff him, funny, a little adorable. But Sweater has got the most bro, gay face. He straight up has gay face. Like, you know those straight guys who look more gay than faggots? That's literally what he looks like to me. Like, like I can hear a twinkling of an earring when Sweater talks. There's some fucking estrogen to him. Bro, if you're going to be fat, grow every which way. Don't just fucking gush out that way. The fuck? You need a low-carb diet, you fucking monster. <laughs> what is that? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Get the G! What the fuck? Now he's going to get me banned for real. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, all right, where's the clips? Holy, look at the heel mic trouble, bro. Yeah, this bitch is literally fucking thinking. Look how hot she thinks she is. Like, wow, why are they getting so cocky, bro? You're fucking mid, you black chip. All right. Uh, th this is a funny one. I, this is the one I watched where Mike pulls this one. And then he gets mad that Michelle attacks her because Mike's trying to wheel. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Is that Erica? What is she doing? Uh, you know what Erica did to me? Yo, it was. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Lightsaber. <laughs> <Inception of Twitch. laughs> Yo, look at that. Look at my moves, though. Mike looks really weak. Look at this shit. Look at this. Mike doesn't. He, it's like he's holding a sword. It's not a lightsaber. To, there's no. There's no force to Mike. Faggot community, bro. 
Look how I move. Look how I move. That's a Jedi, bro. My, look how Mike moves. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Yo, these guys saved my life. I don't know why they jumped Mike. That was a weird switch up. How the fuck did these guys go from Dodoria and Zarbon good guys? Excuse me. They went from good guys to Dodoria and Zarbon. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is bad. I started fucking. Mike and. Yeah, they got mad, bro. Why was I talking to cops like this? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the fucking this is the best loadout, bro. I think he took. I still, yeah, I still remember. Uh, yeah, this is the one time Mike got mad at me. He's like, he actually thought the cops would kill us, right? Okay, let's go YouTube now. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, are we gonna be one in the chat if we're gonna be on Mike's ass? Like, no more trouble. We gotta like set him straight. Am I actually this good looking? Hey, you guys going? All right. Wow. Mashallah. Wow. These are good times. All right, you guys, I don't have the clip, but uh All right. If it's if the girl looks like this, bro, I'm not even going to be Mike's friend anymore. <laughs> it's like if you're getting attacked for girls who look like that, He was also on Jack's stream, the same guy. So, the, whose house was that? Diddy's? The girl was on our stream today. Give me the name. Let me Google her. I want to do a. I, I, I know I'm going to Google it. I just know it. Because you better be Cleopatra for this kind of damage, bro. Yeah. Thank you, Young. Okay. I forgot they're broke. <laughs> it's an Airbnb. <laughs> you guys are fucking... Cat sauce... What? Cat sauce... Please be an OF, not a porn star. Is it a... That's her? That's not her. Please say, say it ain't so. No way. I know her. She's a TikTok? Okay, let me YouTube. These girls don't pop up on YouTube, right? She literally doesn't pop up on YouTube algorithm at all. Like, at all. Like, how many followers could she have? <clears throat> yeah, she's not even on Google. This is a, this is a disaster. IG, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, that's her? Yo, Mike and I, our friendship is over, bro. We're so done as homies, bro. I, that's not it, bro. That's not my fucking class of fucking pus. That's not my brand, bro. We're so done as homies, bro. There's Oh, it's not her. Because if that's her, whoa, he got to go beat the shit out of her. Holy shit. All right, which one is it? This one? Uh, oh God. 
Okay, I have worn eyelashes. Move. Like, Move. I've worn eyelashes, like, every single day since, like, high school. And I'm, like, 24 now, so it's, it's, been, it's been a minute. I finally cracked the code. This is how I do my eyelashes. Um, Log in, you content, fucking like, piece of shit. all night. Um, these things will not come off once you glue them. You're gonna have to wash your face. Gonna have to pull those off a little bit. Like, they will stay on. So, there's a few, a few little steps here. Hold so, on, first of all... Kiss adhesive glue. Um, Shut this up. This is the one I use. And then, so you're going to take your eyelashes and just about where. Ah! Mine are just about ready to glue on. So I glue mine um, right there. Like, I go like that. Like, it's going to go like that, if that makes sense. So you're going to want to put some on and then. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I have worn eyelashes. This is her? Like, glue on eyelashes, like, every single day since, like, high school and i'm like 24 now so it's it's been it's been a minute i finally cracked the c this is her <laughs> all right all right let's see guys i got a pr package for my absolute favorite skincare company ever this serum is show a your face miracle product it is completely all natural and has the best ingredients it has absolutely changed my skin and made me into a skincare girly, so you know it's good. I even have a code for you guys below if you want to try it out and save some coin. Thank you so much, Huntress. You guys are literally the best. Bye. Yo, guys, tell her Zerka's asking about her. Tell her Zerka this famous dude is hitting her up and shit. Just don't Google him. Hit her up, bro. This is... I was going to do it no matter who it is, chat. I swear, I was going to do it... <laughs> Cause Mike's Mike's out of condition right now, so we gotta do more damage on that kitty, more combos on that kitty, right? <laughs> There's no way this is her. Is it actually her? <clears throat> uh, t -t -t 24 years old. Uh, let's see the body. I cannot believe that I have lived in Florida for a whole year now. I honestly would like to congratulate myself because there were times where I didn't know if I was gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She's I like the face. Cute face, like she's got that brunette look. Uh-huh. Yeah, girls have no problems in life, right? So she's getting people jump. Actually, okay. Nice, Mike. That's not bad at all. Yeah, chat, who would hit? I think we'd all hit this. That's not bad at all. She fucking glue up. She's go she's building it. She's power levels going up. Actually, yeah, hell yeah. Let's let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being picky. What are we doing? Good job, W Mike. W Mike. Yeah, this bitch will get you jumped. Yeah, I I believe it 100. percent Well, that's not, maybe it's not her fault, but uh, I wonder how he piped that. Oh my God! Put it back on. Put it back on. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, girls without makeup need to kill themselves. Not in a video game on Earth reality, okay? I mean, don't ban me. Fuck, bro. We're giving Aiden's community too much ammo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just going through Mike <laughs> railing this. <laughs> He's like a dog. <laughs> Not for me, but for Mike, this is, uh, you know, it's definitely a Friday night for him. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse down here. Usually, usually it's the other way around if you know what I fed him. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm spizzed, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's getting fucked up. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm, yo, by the way, anyone find it weird how everyone's doing pedo jokes now? Citrus and the whole goon squad. Uh, convoy and all of them like I started this shit the only person to dethrone me is that guy who just boxed that guy is fucking crazy <laughs> and I won't go that far where he's like can I play with your little great it? Nah, nah I don't even want to utter the fucking it's like the ineffable name of hell no bro but uh, that's the only guy who dethroned me that's why I stopped doing it I'm like fuck bro I always get beat I always get beat in my own game bro it's like yeah just snags when he said, can I play with your little... Because I remember watching that clip and I'm like, why am I cringing? Like, don't do it. Don't do it. I know what you're going for. Because uh, I saw that look. You know that look when the streamer goes, 
oh yeah, you're in grade eight, and they go for the clip. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's when I was like, but then you know everyone else copied. I'm like, you can copy me if you beat me. You can't copy me. And I think even Cheezer beat me though. Cheezer took it a little far. I forgot what he said, but apparently it was like everyone said it was distasteful. And if you cross that line, then you get in my book. Uh, all right. What does pinned mean? I really don't know what it means, bro. Pinned to the kick stream? How do I click that? Oh, right. I go to myself, right? How do I click that? Fuck this fucking faggot. Oh. Trainwreck donated and I never shouted him out? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What the fuck is wrong with me? Do I? Wow. Sorry, guys. I am My bad, man. What's wrong with me, bro? Like, dude, trains fucking, you, you, trains, if you guys only knew, who knows? If you know, you know, who knows? You're hot as fuck. Yo, you better be a chick. What the fuck? Yo, mass report this for being a faggot. <clears throat> fuck out of my stream, fucking weird. <sighs> any whores in chat I always find out months later that some babes in chat that's why I clicked that he's SSV of course he is bro I'm too old to be around you guys get the fuck away from me <laughs> fucking weirdo bro right, I'm the teacher bro we're not classmates here you don't get to farm here with your 2000 viewers 2000 viewers your parents must be like son how are you doing on that cloud thing are you doing good and you're like oh, i don't know one day i'm gonna pop off never never no I'll keep going for it bro just just get on my chat bro because i'll tell you this you're the homo because when my dick jumped and got hard it was for you because i thought you were a chick so i'm straight you knew i was a dude and you saw me jump for it so you're literally faggot energy in ether yeah, now you're banned. Perma ban. He's gone. You're done. You have a check mark at 2K. Look at this guy's sub count, bro. Look at his uh, follower count. You're a fucking... Bro, I'm hated by the owners of this platform. And I fucking shit on you, little faggot ass. <laughs> you fucking loser. Go get Neon's bots. I don't even stream more on. Okay, well, what do you want? You want mod? Is that what you're here for? Get, get to work. Get to work. I'll give you more. Get this suck in, you little fucking... How old are you? This game, fuck. This game, fuck. Homie, bro. What do you mean you want my dick, bro? You on it, but you want it or you on it? I want your dick. What are you gonna do with it? Type shit. On God? On God, chat? Does he want it? Because I don't mind taking out of your mother. If you're better than her, which bored anyway. <sighs> Whore donated eight dollars. <laughs> John, you beautiful fuck. You're so beautiful and you're such a fuck. Is that it's whore? Right, let's see what we got here. And his profile picture is oh, a big fat joke. Oh my god. Okay, pass the link. Woom, bro, let me tell you this. One in the chat of Woom's mother is a literal whore. No comedy type shit. You want to chill with us? I don't, what do you chat? What do you guys think of his mother? You want to do 30 minutes of this? Let's let's farm your karma now. Let's farm. Let's see how long you chill here. Dot 425 donated $5. Just crashed my car, man. I'm sad as fuck. Zerka, can you give some life advice for a double 11 LP currently working full time and in school full time? I get no bitches. What should I do to level up? I pray to God every day. Uh, it's the way you're praying that's. Uh wrong you need to pray for inner change not for material so 
That's what my guys do. But my guys hire me. You can't hire me, bro. I'm off the mark. I'm full. I'm busy. Leave me alone type shit. But, dude, should I answer this guy? Yeah, we got to answer him, right? Chat One in the chat if we should answer this guy fully. Okay? If you're going through hell, just keep going. <laughs> There's no human that's 70 years old and says to you, it never ended. All Every 70-year-old man will say, it ends. It comes back. It ends. It comes back. You know? It's like, you're kind of being a bitch that you're taking it that way because, oh, no. Oh, no. Mike. They were watching you. They replay that part. I just screamed you out. And it's Bro. weird how I make so those jokes now. We started that. Yeah, they dude, they took our whole shit, but I, I think they're gonna give us royalties what for you it. Said about her at the hot I, I said that girl's a good girl. Do you remember that? I know you did. Yeah, she's I'll tell you this, bro. You'd be sweeter if you started throwing hands too. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> Mike, you gotta Mike Mike ch Mike, check this out though. What? One in the chat if you guys don't want Mike to get in any more trouble twenty twenty four. You know what's crazy? The oh. worst part is, I went to the bar, no problems. I went to a house of people I knew, trusted, and I got set up. Fuck that shit. Because of, cause of who? Uh, Murder Murphy. Uh, he's in love with Kate, and he keeps it low-key, but he's 57. Oh, I got so much dirt. He's a so, YouTuber? Like, no. no. He's Six Nine's ex-manager. How you get involved with that? He sent a toothless retard. To go fight me who was sober. He has no teeth? Yeah, he has no teeth. And how did you meet these guys? I didn't. They were just at the party. Yet. Oh. Wow. So Mur Mur Murder's in love with that K girl. Yeah, but Mike, I don't I want you that. running around That's where they keep, they keep, what if, what if they just keep following you around? Because you, you, you don't end it. You know? No, if you, I, I, that's why I'm like, I'm like actually yelling at Eddie in the DMs right now. I go, I'm fucking banned. I promoted these fucking streamers. I get jumped. I go, you better have that VOD not deleted. Sagan has it. We'll send you the VOD if you want to do a VOD review. I was like, yeah, I'm uploading right now. I was yeah. like, get away from Because everyone's I saying, ten of you. everyone's. You guys are all friends. I go, you guys are all friends. There's 10 of you. Get away from me. I'm not fighting. I go in the Uber. The Uber driver gets out. Doesn't speak a lick of English. He goes, no, stop, stop. They chased me down to the Uber. I was in the car. Jeez. And they were like banging on this guy's door. And they're like, get out. I was like, holy fuck. And I was like, glass my glasses. And I'm like, this. I'm like, I'm going to jump on like six different people. And then he, sucker, he hits me first. He punches me. And by the way, he's dead sober. And I was hammered. I was like, well, I'm just going to start doing this. I'm going to throw hands. And the reason I think I'm fucking banned is I started bleeding. And it was all of them. He goes, did you learn your lesson? And I go like this on camera. All the blood's on my hand because my eyes leaking. I go, all with all the blood on my hand. I go, yeah. I go, you didn't knock me out, faggot. I said, yeah, I licked the blood. Covered my whole hand was covered in blood. I licked it. I go, mm, and he still didn't knock me out, faggot. But Mike, but great. also, if you search up Heal Mike on YouTube, 10 fights in one month pop up. This is fucking... I've never seen this before. Am I on the phone before. with the fucking retard, pedo fucking Nick Fuentes Zerko, or am I on the phone with my mom? If I would have... If I wanted to get a trip, dude, I would have called Kate, dude. Well, well Mike, well, look at the fucking... Well, okay, all right, how about... Talk, all right, you can talk to chat. Yo, you can talk to chat, huh? You want to talk to chat? Uh, just pull up chat because uh, they're saying Diddy set you up. Do you want to see his chat? I actually, I think Diddy got lost in the sauce. I think Diddy definitely um, influenced it all to happen. I didn't think he'd go that far. But his security guard is a retard and was friends with the guy. Oh, I'm raising my voice and my blood pressure went up. So they're doing some shit thinking I'm having a heart attack. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just angry. Hold up, that guy said, Zerka, you're my idol. Yo, come here for your mod, bro. I, like I don't chunky, know. Dude. I, on the machine I, and need, shit. I need, Look at me. I needed that, bro. I needed. Bro, Mike, what did the nurse say about your eyes? The... Oh, the nurses love me. <laughs> no, that's not the question. No, I swear to God. She goes, she goes, you've been here before? I go, absolutely no. But the guys, they probably have. Uh, 100%. And yeah. She's so like, what do you need? I was like, you, but also, you should probably check out my eye. <laughs> Watch her smack Sarah you. <laughs> She's going to smack you. No, bro. she loves me. All right, are you going to pipe her? <laughs> no. 
Because that's what you do. You pipe people's chicks, bro. <laughs> Mike, you ever worry that, like, since you just hit every bitch in town, <laughs> you, you've just got a million enemies? You okay, never, you never thought of that? It finally caught up. I just wish it wasn't one of fucking five out of ten. <laughs> yeah, well, she wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh. Ah. What do you think about Kate? I hate her. Uh, Kate's the like, Kate's the best. Girl, girl, the girl. Do you think she's cute? No, she's. I remember what I said. Look, I said such good shit about this girl on stream that a lot of people are like, "You're simp," and I'm like, "I've never even met her." You know. I just, I can. You know what's crazy is you immediately like said she like. I said all of them are whores except this one has a soul. Off camera. Yeah. And you immediately, dude, there was a hot tub stream of like seven girls. You're like, this girl's a whore. This girl's all right. This girl, she has like she a has, soul. Like, a housewife energy. She's in the wrong industry. Like I thought, Mike, like, hey, dude, you know what's crazy? And you showed Kenzie, and you're like complete whore. But so, Hey, Kenzie like, hit me up. She's like, you're so hot. Thanks, you hit me up. Still. Kenzie yeah, so W. Kenzie. Sometimes she likes Kenzie. No, we're not. She, she likes being called a whore, which just kind of makes the point more... Oh, you hit that too? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I need the Lord. You hit that too? What the uh, visual Q&A. Visual Q&A? He's not answering yeah, I got you. Did he? Where do I go? Wait, I'm not talking to the doctor. Uh, yeah, your chat wants to talk to you, though. I talk, you got to do my content, bro. What do you... Yeah. Yeah. Yo, dude, you change your title to like talking to Mike. Yeah, I must do that because uh, I'm not here to farm views. I actually didn't want to watch it alone because I, I made a tweet about it. No, bro. Uh, no, if, if I want to farm views, I would have called you. Ashley said in Mike's Discord that if Mike fucked Kate, then she's done. Tell At Mike to press Ashley. About Yo, Ashley, who's Ashley? Ashley said if she if Mike piped. If Mike I gotta go. She told me to turn it off. Yeah, but but now. yo yo, some Ashley girl is plotting against you, whoever that is, because she said if if she, I don't know if I'm being baited, but chat says if Ashley says if he piped Kate, he's done. Who's Ashley? Uh, Ashley Alexander. That might be her. Uh, oh, the, are you guys glasses. baiting me? <laughs> you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> okay, hold it. Thank you. Oh, that's Ashley there. Okay, wait, can I talk to the nurse real quick? No, you can't talk to let me just say, let me just look at, let me just say, wait, wait, let me talk to the nurse. I'm trying to pipe her. Let me pipe the nurse. <laughs> I did the same thing, bro. My nurses were hot, though. I didn't see that one. <laughs> you see, you know what's scary is he said, oh, bro, kick better give me the VOD. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Yeah. You know, it's kind of scary how all of my best friends, I can, they're on a hand. This happened with all of them. Like, I used to scare the shit out of them, and then they used to scare the shit out of me. And then I'm like, oh, you know, Mike's a streamer, and then Mike's turning into, like, worse than any bouncer I've ever met. Like, he's in so much trouble. Uh, uh, Zerka's a fake friend. Yeah, if I was a real friend, I would have yelled at Mike weeks ago and been like yo this is too much bro you're around weirdos i don't mind if you're around weirdos but if you're drunk around weirdos like ugh. yeah yeah if mike didn't pipe people's chick he'd just be a good guy but, like, he, they're always going to hate him. If Like, I don't even know who these people are, but, uh, yeah, I could just imagine him being at a restaurant and it happened again and again to him. And What city was he in? That's crazy. Did you watch it, Hugh? I didn't watch it. Give it. I'm trying to watch it right now. I love your voice. Is that a chick? Ray? So I tweeted, like, uh, it's a fucking dude again. Four followers. I tweeted that like I'm trying to uh, get my Snapchat out there again, you know. All right. Click pin. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, uh, we gotta watch it with commentary. All right. Hold on. 
Yo, you want to? I'll, I'll give you a scene. I'll give you a scene. Yeah, right let's now. do a scene. Let's do a scene. I'll give you a scene. From Call Me by Your Name. Hold on, hold on. I'll be the mother, and you be Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> An impersonation of each other. <laughs> Get on CS:GO. We're gonna just lose every game. I'm a faggot. <laughs> Yeah, everybody. I'm gonna look at retards, and I'm gonna get. Is it two? He's down on the ground. He's got control of his. <laughs> Bro, again. Let's let's do what we have to do. Uh, How tall are? Stop. No, I don't care. I don't really care. But if you care, sure. How to be There's no audio. With your hair, dress oh, this is where it started. Content out of people. You're because, stupid. bro, before you moved in with cute, your content was so much better. Now you're just sitting here, and it seems like <laughs> with how much, how many times? Who the fuck is violating, bro? Get this guy off the call. Fuck you, bud. She you changed your appearance. It seems like she's telling you what she what she expects out of you. You think Cutebot has time? Right. Her is Cutebot still a thing, or is she falling off? Six foot six fish donated seven dollars. Have you practiced semen retention? If so, what benefits did you get physical and mental? Uh, January till March 10th, I think. Uh, the benefits I'm not gonna say how much money I made, but what like seven months worth in a month, like a lot of money. But I was transmuting it, I was. Working I would if you do it unemployed. It's very different if you if the because it's just psychic energy, right? That's all it is <clears throat> That creative g-force the, the generation force. That's what it is And if you don't have something you can chip away at it, it's no fat becomes very different like demonically hard but uh, Filter recent how do you do that? Two minutes ago. Oh shit, what the fuck? These girls are not it, bro. Oh, this is it. Nice. Oh my god, bro. I just want to- I want to see where it starts. I want to see the- Tsunami Owen donated five dollars. Zerka, my brother, I do EP and bouncing work and I'm starting to hate it. What made you flip the switch and say fuck it and start streaming? Uh, I was scouted. So I was just bouncing on Omegle and they said you should get on this show. But I'll, even when I popped up, I was still bouncing. <laughs> I'd fucking go live in front of celebrities. Uh, with Big Tony and well for like a little bit, and then I had to pick a path because I had like imposter syndrome. I'm like, I don't want to be a faggot YouTuber, but I'm glad I did that. All right, this is a bust, bro. I can't even. Uh, she's not horrible. No, oh, she's good. Nice. Did he get this too? He's for cleaning up. That would have been lit. You know what I like about her? I just told oh, her. this is the one who talks ghetto. I hate that shit. Oh, he he hit this too. Nice, bro. This guy's. I thought it was. Oh hell yeah, that looks kind of cute. If this girl didn't talk ghetto, she'd be. Someone tell her, bro. Fix your fucking attitude. Circa says, fix your fucking attitude, so guys can like you again. Cause you, you talk too ghetto. We don't fuck with that fucking. Looks so sweet there when she's not talking. Master Mosh said, miss your. This is why I hate Miami, you know? There's like one little kind of cute chick, and then, oh, Mike hit that. It's like, what the fuck? You can't even enjoy this. Like, I actually don't like Mike. I just realized he's been piping every day. Like, like, bro, leave the toys alone. You can't have all the toys, bro. Oh, my God. Don't, whatever you do, we're going to go to Ashes. It's actually my pimp room. We're going to go to Ashes. Don't show that tattoo she's going to get very mad. I'm going to show her. Oh, he's still going for the other one, too. Wow. Yeah, maybe she's not that great. Okay. Uh. 
All right, guys, so who, who are we not trusting? Just drop the names, bro, because we got to get Mike right. Be like, Mike, don't be around these people, bro. He can have her. Yeah, he can have that one. Yeah. Were you guys saying it all night, too? It's so weird how there's so many streams where I just sit on stream and chat spamming. Zirka, don't be around. This guy's a snake. And I'm nice to everyone when I meet them. And when has chat been off? Not my chat. Any chat. When chat says that's a whore and she's a sweet girl, there's always a day later you're like, oh, she's a whore. Like, they're always on point with that shit. Now, I wish Mike would chill with Action Man, to be honest. I don't have no idea why that doesn't happen. But Action Man's been getting into fights, too, right? Like, he, where was he? What city was he in? He was in, like, some ghetto-ass city with someone's girl. And then he went and told the cops. That was the funniest shit. That was the one time I watched the whole pod. Would you guys be mad if Mike uh, called the cops? Like, for me, I don't call cops, but for, if my homies call cops, I don't care. I wasn't there. They're not going to ask me shit, you know? I don't really give a fuck. I don't do it, but if you do it, I go, hey, man, that's up to you, bro. It's how you want to play it. It's this your game, bro. This is your world. I'm just fucking spectating, bro. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you someone who will never get got, Sneeko, bro. I'm going out to dinner with Sneeko, and a dude approaches us for a photo. Boom, he's holding the fuck. He's got the nine right here. And the guy's like. <laughs> Unique adult donated $5. In which month are you going to Gyakova? And brother, please do more Earl streams. You are being decided to humans in real life. It's so entertaining. Yeah, I'm gonna be on about? fresh. I'm gonna be on fresh fit soon. I was supposed to be there during the fucking eclipse, and then I'm like, I don't want to be on a plane, because I have good, or I have extremely good and bad luck. You know, I'm one of those people, so I'm like, eh, like I wouldn't even care if I'm on a plane. I wouldn't sweat it, but I could just see myself dying this year. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never had visions of death until Gary calls me in the middle of the night and goes. Not only is it your Saturn return, but it's your dragon year. And you have really unsolved karma. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, no, I don't. And he's like, no, no, we're talking about collective, like your whole life. How many bad things have you done? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but the weird prediction Gary made that was spot on. He said to me, "With it, we're just, this is like, Four months ago, he's like, yo, you're going to hate the dragon year because you love attention. I'm like, not really. I'm just going to make money. Because uh, I always go up and down. I, you know, I'm used to this. I don't... If I'm getting paid, the attention's not that fucking tasty to me. Uh, but Gary said to me, he's like, heal Mike's dragon year is going to hit 10 times harder than yours. And I was like, why? And he showed me on the chart. I can't say why, but he showed me on a chart. And I told Mike, this is four months ago, and Mike didn't even say not true. He looked at me and he's like, yeah, that makes sense. It's very weird. So I don't want to do this clip because now Gary's going to cut it up, put it on Twitter and be like, I told you so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I prayed to Gary. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Also, Gary was right about the money thing. Yeah. What do you get banned for? What? Again? Yeah, Gary's like, you're about to make a shit ton of fucking money on this eight. And I remember I wasn't even working and all this money just came in my account. And then I'm like, whoa, I forgot I even have that website going. And so I started spending time there and I'm like, holy shit. Like, now nah, I love you guys because I didn't love you guys two years ago. It was not enough. No, no, 2022, you guys gave a lot. But that was giving. Now it's like we're trading. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal here. Unique adult donated five dollars. Do you got Albanian friends, Niggy? Yeah. It was more Diddy than Murda. Who's Murda? How do you know it's Diddy? What did he say? Cause bro, here's the advice I want to give these like up and comer. Uh, up and coming streamers is 
the drama thing doesn't work unless you're already a streamer. You like who the fuck has popped off attacking Heal Mike? Nobody. None of them. They're all at zero still. They every Heal Mike got attacked by a hundred people. They're all at zero. Like all their channels are at zero. Everything. Diddy offered five k to Mike for what? Diddy was trying to incite a fight all night. Huh. I feel like Diddy's bad karma is that he all, like, all that fucking work he's done in his life and he bangs less than mid. Like, that's his karma. You know what I mean? Like, you got Mike with the horrible game, just, it's a slaughter fest. He's smashing everything out the park, or setting it up to smash. But that guy's, like, Diddy's game is, like, you know, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. And it just, horrible, horrible, uh, he's got a horrible magnet for, for pussy. <laughs> Maybe it's a repellent. Maybe he's got a pussy. <laughs> bro, L Diddy, bro. If they, I, I want to watch the VOD before I say that, but I trust you guys, because when have you guys led me astray? I just donate, you motherfucking... <sighs> Diddy plotted all night. See, now it's sinister. When you say that... Yeah, I guess we'll watch the VOD tomorrow. Let's try one last time. Uh... That is weird, because... You'd think everyone's recording Mike's shit since he's always in trouble, but... Kill Mike, fight. What would you guys do? Let's hear, like, what's the advice you guys want to give to Mike? Because I feel like Mike is... I hate to say the word spiral... Did you know, you get jumped, what can you do about it? But yeah, you don't have to be around people. You can do that. You don't have to be around, you know. Pinned? Uh, heal Mike talking shit. Oh, it's Murder Murphy's guy? Oh, yeah. I understand because I fucked Murder's bitch. So I get why he had that. Wait, what? Jazz, <laughs> yeah, W's or L's in a fight right now? We're not going to involve security. Is everybody else besides security? I'll take on that. None of my security, bro. I'll take on that man. I'll stand in for security. So if you were me, if you were me. Hold on. Bill Cosby donated what? five dollars. Dude, honestly, I, I Diddy not, was oh, trying oh, to oh, instigate oh, a fight with his goons against I Mike's friend Tyrone that was there. I, Mike well, kept putting his foot down on that and eventually his friend snuck out as they were all searching for him. Then eventually Mike got it. So I get why he had that Wait, what? Me. Dad, W's or L's in a fight right now. We're not gonna involve security. Is everybody else besides security? I'll take on that. None of my security, bro. I'll take on that map. I'll stand in for security. So, if you were me, if you were me... I my ass for 100k, especially with after fucking with Hill Mike. Trippy's back, let's do it. I, uh, Why not, is it so smart, my bad? Put your money where your mouth is. I would not whoop your ass, let's be real. I, I, I said I would not whoop your ass. Go ahead, let, let chat know you would not I would not whoop your ass. Okay, 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 okay. I would do a lot worse. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, he's happy about it. A thousand. I've got a thousand on Mike. And Murph will tell you, I don't care about money. You get a thousand on Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I got a thousand on Mike then. I got a thousand on Mike. You think I'm going to fight for a thousand dollars? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. What? I, I said it like that. He, he put money where the mouth is. I'm a bitch. You stand on it, you're a bitch. Oh. Straight like that. And Atop said it just like that. If you're not going to stand, your boy backed you up. He put the money where the mouth is. I got a thousand on Mike. And, and you're, you're backing out, you're a bitch. I'm a bitch. Is he a YouTuber? I'd rather be a bitch. I'd rather be a bitch than fight for a thousand dollars. You don't want to fight a thousand dollars? That's not even real. Five guy. I'm betting on four of you, bro. Oh well. He's gonna fight. Now he's gonna fight me for free. My name is Michelangelo Peters. I feel threatened. 
I say, Mike ain't that soft, bro. I got 250 on Mike right now. You got 250 on Mike? Yeah, 100%. I, I got me knocking another two teeth out of him. <laughs> Is that the bitch? Of course I'm not fighting. I I, that better not be. Get some water? Get some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to go out there and fight him? I already whooped his ass. Wow. Diddy, wow. Security's right there, bro. And nobody, nobody's overpressing. My security's right there, bro. Chat, who would go fight if you don't know any of these guys and shit? I didn't know. I, I didn't knock his teeth out. If he touches you, it'll be zero. It was only one, two. Mike, Mike, Mike. IRL's going to stick together. If he touches you, it'll be... Listen, I'll fight him. I will actually will fight him. If he get, if he gets me a lighter and starts uh, no, becoming relevant on kick. Dead, Mike. Yo, come over. I'll whoop your ass too. <laughs> Diddy's like happy. He's like, oh yeah, I keep joking about this. Yo, Yo, just let me know, bro, which one. Just watch Yo, Yeah, King Warrior. Ready? Yo! Fuck! What's this? I have a tiny wiener. <laughs> Did he got Aiden Ross energy? Bro, at least Aiden will pay. This is a free fight. An influencer free fight is crazy. Where is he? I'm gonna whoop your ass! I'm gonna whoop your ass! You can't smoke inside. That's my brother. I'm gonna whoop your ass! Yo, you can't smoke inside, he said. Whoa. Yo, I pray you guys have a friend like Diddy, bro. <laughs> and the only reason I'm not is because my Uber's here. We gotta go, Sagan. My Uber's here. No shot. So why didn't he just get in the Uber? Oh, they chased him? No shot. Huge black friends. See, look at that. No one left. Oh, this is it. No problem, my car. Damn, Diddy's even saying, yo, he's good. Stay, stay, stay in the shot. Stay in the camera frame. Whoa. Okay, so you're good. It's over. I got the clout type shit. What the fuck? Wow. Wow, bro. Diddy. Diddy, you got security, bro. You're safe. So stop, bro. Mike's good. Stop. This is a great top. Awesome. Woo! So you followed me out, hit me? Thought we were fighting for 10 grand. 
That's at least 10 Bs. I need one. Woo! But y'all need to chill though. Yo, why are you saying that though? Mike's good, bro. Oh, man. Those are my glasses? Oh, my mic. Yo, stop! Oh, he punched me. Is it weird that Mike's. No, I'm not going to say it. But he's like stays in joking mode, you know? Like. Isn't it always like, yo, I got the clip I wanted, I'm ready to apologize now? Every time I see influencers in this, it's like, I got the clip I wanted, I'm ready to apologize. Apologize now, right? <laughs> like I, I got the clip, but I also don't want to look like a bully, you know? What? There's more? What the? He's not even viral. Jeez. Margarito Canales donated ten dollars. He said, "I wish I was Zerka. What would you have done in so this situation? What would I have done? I would have gone in the fucking Uber. I would have pushed the Asian driver in the fucking Uber seat, and I've been like, drive. They're gonna kill you, bro. That you're Asian, and I don't know what the fuck." What are you? What are you? Is this dick measuring? What would you have done, bro? Mike did this wrong. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. No, Watson. I want some head. I just got beat up by a fucking huge black. What the fuck? That nigga is not a big black guy, bro. He's not a big black guy. I can't see. I'm permanently blind. I'll show you a big black guy, bro. I'm permanently blind. Do that. I'll show you a big black guy. I get the huge black guy to punch me too. You know what's weird is Mike is the magnet of attention because the viewer count. Like, how did these guys not? That's a bad look. Bro. I want to double down on the losses. No, no, stop. Oh, stop, bro. 100 percent. Yo, yo. So oh, eight up. No, bro. Apologize, bro. Eight up. Some fucking weird shit. Is it uh? Didn't he? That's Murder Murphy's guy, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's Murder Murphy's guy. Oh, yeah. I understand. Oh shit. That's where you figured it out. Stand because I fucked Murder's bitch. Oh, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, my? Stop. Well, I get why he had that guy. Wait, what? Me. Oh, oh, well, guys, I don't know how I feel about Diddy, bro. But I'll tell you how God feels about Diddy. I've never watched influencers scumbag that hard and not get it in return. It always snaps back, bro. Like, Diddy, bro. How many people have you done this to? Like, you, this is so bad, man. And Chet, if it was you, they'd do it to you too. McKinley donated five dollars. What? Fuck what anyone says. You would have ended that fight on top, like the rest. They'd have to kill us to give up on a live stream. Is this actually Mike McKinley? I'll quit. I'll never crying shame. I'll I'll never give you dick, McKinley. They stop flirting, bro. Is this actually her? <coughs> actually, when I look at these bitches, I'll take McKinley any day. Yeah. But there's also like, bro, if you're fucking damaged on perk or just being a drunk retard, if you're not in the mind frame for war, you also have to take responsibility and say, actually, it's my fault. You know what I mean? Because dude, there was a time in my life where it was always war, but I was always healthy, like healthy enough, right? And you got to take responsibility and say, like, think about it. If Mike's base form is fucked up, then it's then you have to admit he didn't get you when you were drunk. He got you when you were normal, cause your normal is being drunk. You, you gotta change, bro. You gotta change. You gotta cut that shit out, right? Mike can't ever be around fucking strangers and partying like this, cause he's like, uh, they know he doesn't turn the camera off. You know, like you guys chat. How many of you guys would turn the camera off 
So the guys stop getting thirsty for cloud, although they'll turn their phones on. But I've never been in a situation where a friend snakes me. Maybe influencers, but not friend. Like a homie. Someone I chill with, party with. I've never been in that situation. So, yeah. Like if I chilled with Diddy and he did that to me, I've been like, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 And I felt horrible. And then when Mike starts being funny on Twitter, I can't help but laugh because he just reminds me of the Call of Duty lobby that just keeps talking and we got to report him. He just keeps going. Like he never stops. Uh, yeah. I should never because I'm the, I'm the worst for situations because I if I laugh at a bad situation, every human in the room thinks I'm encouraging it. I encourage stupid shit to happen to me, but not Mike. Spaniard donated $5. You know? Numerology life and career advice. Born 14th of February 1999. Year of the rabbit. Thanks, Moniga. You're an entertainer and good looking, so just do YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Or tap into your entertainer stuff. Bro, we're not doing this right now. Has Sneeko ever snaked you before? Sneeko has never snaked me. But I'll tell you this, Sneeko's 99% loyal to me, and I'm 100 to him. But the second there's friction, I become a villain. Like, I become mean, you know? But ne I've never snaked Sneeko, Mike. You're never going to see me snake Sneeko, Mike, or any of that shit. But if they fuck up 1% with me, I actually get, like, I don't know, I'm, I get tight. I say, like, man, fuck you. Like, like Sneeko said on one stream... Uh, Zerka does degenerate content with whores and he kept repeating it and then he posted himself in a hot tub with Brecky Hill and I got so tight I said fraud I said fraud <laughs> fraud what the fuck so yeah that's how that started but yeah but you know what's funny is Sneeko has always said to Mike this is the way things are gonna go cause Sneeko's the type of guy that like, he always repeats this stuff. He, he'd say those kind of parties. Those kind of parties. those. And Mike is the type of guy that can bring the host to his house, which is rare. He doesn't need to go to these parties. They need him. You know? Like, didn't, did he hate me because his hoes were at my house? I'm like, I don't even like your hoes. I'm with Raina. What the fuck? I like my hoes. <laughs> How come you're so loyal? And... Are you the year of the dog? Yeah, dog is the most loyal sign. And yeah, I am. I'm 1994. But also, I had brothers. And my brothers... Bro, if you've had brothers, you know loyalty. Because they could hate you and they'll pick you up from a party if shit like this happens. And they don't say shit. Maybe in a week they'll beat your ass, but they get you right the day off, you know? Yeah. Thoughts on Fresh Exposed? I'll never believe a whore, bro. I'll kick her child in the teeth. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that bitch. Like she can have that baby. I'll kick him back in that fucking dirty cunt. How about that? I'll say, it's half black? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't believe whores, bro. You guys believe whores. I don't believe whores. Do you miss taking Adderall? No, because it's the most money I've... I swear to God... I swear to God, I could do three weeks of no work and I get paid more than last year. I swear to God. It, I lied so much when I said Adderall's productive. No, it's not. Run your own website. That's productive. Six foot six fish donated seven dollars. Do you get powers from wearing the black watch on the left and white watch on the right? Chill. <laughs> it's more about the restriction on the on the veins. It's like a thinking thing. Not too tight, but it could be rubber bands too. How do you spot a Diddy in your friend group? I've never, I couldn't even help you with that because they don't dare hover around me for more than fucking a day. I've never had, yo, I want to tag along with Zerka. Those type of people like that instigate like that. This is how I instigate. Off camera, yo, Prime, you want to do some content? Sure. 
Okay, yo, Mike, you down? Mike, you and Action Man? Action Man's, no, I don't want to. I don't want to because I don't want to. I don't want to. And I'm like, bro, you just got to say it once. Mike isn't going to press you. When they were beefing, you know when they fought? The day after, I was like, if you guys could go farm in, but I want to consent from both you guys because, you know what I mean? Yeah, how do you spot a Judas? Because I've never been around someone like... The scary thing is if someone has a bit of money but no clout. Because it seems like people just want clout, you know? And they turn into this, like... Yeah, how do you spot a Judas? Well, you're the good guy, so you're not going to spot him. Right? You're going to learn. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. You know the parties you're not supposed to be going to. Have you ever been at a party and you're just like, man, these are the... These are all the social climbers? You know? Have you ever gone to those parties where you're like... You go, I'm being a degen, but this is still not my vibe? Yeah. That's why you pop off and throw parties at my penthouse. There's two guys and a bunch of chicks. Yeah, Mike's Ben. Yeah, extreme shallowness and... Yeah. I was also like, I never had real friends that I... I didn't chill with my real friends. I chilled with my work friends. And they're all like psychopath drug dealers. So no one got out of line because everyone was snorting lines. Like, we all knew. We were hypersensitive to conflict amongst us. Because we're like, oh, okay, there's a hierarchy of violence. And if Zerka wants to be the alpha, he's just going to do another line. If this guy wants to be the alpha, he's going to do it. You know, like, people would compete and then someone gets... That's how people get stabbed, right? But, yeah, we wouldn't ever have one dude that... Fought. Man, I've, heard, I've seen so many of these... I've heard so many of these stories where you just go to a party get jumped. Does Eden make more than you? No, not right now. No, there's not one influencer who has 700,000 subs that makes more than me right now. I swear to God. You could have... Uh, the guys who are making more than me have like 1.5, 1.8 mil. But wait, wait till I'm at that sub count. Right? I'm shitting on the game. Manipulation sells, bro. People don't want dating content. They don't want dating advice. They want straight up manipulation. Come shop. Uh... I can make more because these $350 an hour calls eat up my time. So I'm just jacking up to 500 very soon. And then, but I'm not a worker bee, bro. I'd rather just, I'm, I'm thinking of just saying no to all your readings, right? Some of your readings. I'll do a couple, a couple more and then just write a book and you guys go fucking. The thing about the book is my team don't like that because they're like, one-on-one uh, -on -one is awesome with me. Like, one-on-one -on -one is... Because I'm the type of guy that'll hit you back up. I'll be like, actually, and this. You know? I don't let your fucking money go to waste. I build up good clientele type of shit. Like, I know sales. I know how to keep you guys around me. Fuck. I just don't do it. You know? But, yeah. I like having stupidity with waves. I don't like what... Mike has been on stupidity waves of, like... What do you call this content? Street content? For, like, three months now. On his dragon year. I mean. And if this paid a shit ton of money. Then that would kind of make sense. Until you get what? Knife? Yeah. Because here's what's happening when you're going to parties like this bro. Doesn't matter who they are. One dude gets his heart broken by a chick. And you get knifed that night. Because of a momentary. What's that called? momentary psychosis like people just slip into it and slip out of it like, like a demonically possessed and you know that's happened that happens all the time uh yeah yeah mike is in the worst when i was bouncing and just living for this nightlife shit you start feeling invincible over how much you survive not if you're sober, but if you're on drugs or alcohol or hell, Adderall or whatever. Yeah, you start to keep, eh, you know, it's just a fucking eye. It's just a, it's just a, and then, it, you know, it, it gets worse and worse. Because I'll tell you this, God has sent Mike a million caution signs. You know, this is when people try and change the nature of God and they get angry at God. God sends you a million warning signs that you 
actively it's not passively you don't not see them you get you get a feeling you know i shouldn't be doing this and you keep put plowing through it and the the rubber band that snaps and hits you hard is god saying the next one's death bro because people are psychotic out there they're living without god you know yeah yeah Yeah. Um, you could have beat HS. Yeah, I know that. That eats me up more, actually. When I think about that. Oh, fucking easy, bro. Just break his teeth right on that pavement. But I, I like him. I like HS. Why you would fucking bring me back to that shit, bro? Like, let me just... Don't round me up. You could do it. If I want to be streaming for the next 10 years, because even if... even. In the future, you know, I'll always be coming back to it. You guys are going to see crazy shit from me. Don't rile me up. It's coming whether you like it or not. That's how the world works for me, you know? <sighs> yeah, the weird part is what Mike didn't raise his hands and the guy got close. I was like, how does he not have the flinch? Like, how does Mike not see the next punch coming? Or does he just want to eat it? It's very weird. Yeah. Anyways, the the good news is Mike and I are meeting up in LA. Uh, we'll do some shit. See Panda and you know Master Roshi and the whole team. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then we'll do Miami. And then we're oh also we're doing Europe this year. So Mike's coming to a wedding in my home country, third world. And so are a bunch of my homies from hometown. So. Dot four twenty five donated five dollars. Can I book a call with you, bro? I hit you up on Twitter and also yeah, sent you an email. Yeah, I will. I will. To it. I will. I will. I will. I will. Also, I will. what is the correct way to talk to God? <laughs> uh, okay. Try not to use the language of talk to God. Try and use the language of receive from God. Because God's there when you're silent. If you're chatting, even in your brain, it's it's all ego. It's not the real you, bro. You know what I mean by that, chat? Like you need to you need to receive when you're at rest. You cannot be chatting towards God because what are you chatting for? He knows everything. He knows every hair on your head. Like, what are you chatting for? You need to receive, right? And when you receive, you'll feel it like, hey, I'm John Zirka and I want to make over 100 bands a month doing minimal work. Okay, then Zirka, you got to be your higher self. Well, what does that entail? Um, balance. For me, it's balance. Because I can speed up money, but that's... It, there's dog brains that shouldn't speed it up. They should gas break, gas break when it comes to business with this kind of business. This kind of what do you call this business? The business of reality. What's more real than reality TV? Like reality TV is fake. This is like real, real. Have you ever prayed in tongues before? No. I have a myth, I have a very methodical system of prayer for myself, but I mostly pray for family and friends but i have a methodical system for using the imagination because there's a vision you'll have that's a shadow in the world of forms and the vision is you stepping out of your nice car with filled with energy and everyone focuses on the nice car and the smile you have but that's not the law of attraction the law of attraction is how much energy do you have in that vision Look at his energy. He's full of energy. The you, the higher you is full of energy. And then ask yourself, how are you going to get that nice car and successful life? You, It's telling you. The vision's telling you. Look at, in the vision where you're very successful stepping out of the nice car, look into your eyes. Focus. Not hard. Just play with it. And see the imagination. That you is filled with energy, meaning he's working. He's working and you're not working. 
That's the difference from you and successful you, right? So everyone focuses on the Ferrari, just come to me. But no, look at who's in the Ferrari, which is your higher self filled with energy, positivity, and win winning vibration, winning frequency, which is when the vibration is full, when it's like a shield, right? And that's the quantum field. Like Egyptians knew this, everyone knew Close your eyes and imagine your wins. You're not negative when you're winning. Trust me on that, right? You're ne you've never won being negative. And if you have, you kind of get embarrassed because you compare it to when you're being positive and it's very different, right? It's peace of mind, money, all that. Does that make sense what I said? Yeah, because that vision's everything. Like, Heal Mike's only visions he's had for the last few weeks, I guarantee you, is bloody ones. That's why he's inviting this universe to him. This is not his fault. But going to these parties again and again and again, what are you attracting? You know what I mean? And the weird part is uh, the outlaw archetype that's ruling over Mike or rules over me or you guys when you guys are in trouble and shit, these archetypes that literally flow through you, They need to be transmuted because they're always going to be there. And what does an outlaw really want? Someone who's always in trouble with the cops, an outlaw. What does he really want? What is he, what is he asking God for every day? Because every second is prayer. Every desire you have is prayer is a form of it, right? What is an outlaw who wants to just keep doing... Uh, not? I'm not talking about in the... The laws of the city. I'm talking about the laws of, you know, the harmony of God's world that he wants for you. You're going against that. What does an outlaw want? An outlaw craves law and order. That's why they keep doing crazier shit till they get locked up and then they have peace of mind. They're in prison. So when you focus on balancing solar and lunar psyche, you'll see who you are because it's always a, your unconscious that has to push through is always a mirror. It's always a mirror. So if you're always doing drug dealing shit, you're begging God for law and order, right? If you're doing law and order every single day, you're begging God for freedom. You feel kind of trapped from the system, right? And that equaling opposites gets you very far in life. And people are like, well, that's too simple to grasp. Like, no. It's easy to grasp. It's not easy to hold. You're going to forget tomorrow. I guarantee you, you're going to be a loser tomorrow. You know? You know how many thoughts you have to, I'd say maybe a thousand thoughts a day, you have to say in your own brain, I don't need that. So when Mike has an impulse of go to this party, who cares? I'll just take the punch, I'll get some easy views. He needs to have the mindset that go, I don't need that. I don't need that. Right now, he's in operating in needs. Man, I need this content today. Why do you need this content today? What do you, you don't. You don't even have to work for a year, you'll be good. Like, the need scares me. That like people get attached to needs, right? And this guy saying in chat, he did not want to fight. Just search up Heal Mike Fight on YouTube. A man who doesn't want to fight doesn't float around streets for two hours. With 10 guys last week and he's always floating about it. So. Any way you chop it, you and your buddies would get in an Uber and leave. Clearly, he wants something to happen. He needs the sensation of, I need to feel alive. So my world is, I'm not talking for Mike, but who do you think? When I was bouncing, this looks so familiar. This is like, I need to feel something. I need to feel, let's feel something. Let's, let, something has to happen. Something has to, and I'll tell you this. The, you can say these L's and stuff. These L's are more addictive than any drug. These L's of I felt alive for an hour is more addictive than anything. You'll always wind back to this. If you don't believe me, how addicted are you to sitting in your bed, your computer room, and doing nothing? You love L's. There's nothing more addictive than taking L's. There's, especially if you're stubborn. If you're like, you know what? Because self what a form of depression is, anyone who drinks, I don't care, it's a dep that's what a depressant is, it's alcohol, it's self-aggression. So heal Mike's at war with himself. If he doesn't have a war, he'll drink till it appears in front of his face. And 
there's a million signs to leave a party. And you guys are saying, yeah, he tried to get in the Uber. Sure, this time. What about last time? What about the time before that and before that and before that? You know? And Mike's the kind of guy that when I talk to him one-on-one, he don't, I can see he doesn't want to hear me. And I don't like to talk that much because he looks like he reminds me of me. So I go, yeah, I wasn't listening to anyone either. But my best friend stabbed to death because of shit like this. And he never fought. He was a nice guy. So imagine if you're also this kind of like reckless type. And when I say it on stream, Mike watches the stream and he sees you guys type. And he actually starts to snap out of it. You know, and it's so weird as, as negative as Mike's chat can be. If you grab Mike's phone and read DMs, it's all don't it's all don't trust this guy. Don't trust. They still look off from as much as they get angry at the dumb shit he does. They still go, dude, you're like, I hate that fucking word. But because I hate these guys who planned this shit and I'm blaming Mike. I hate doing this part. But let's pretend this didn't happen. He was in trouble last week and the week before that. So I will put on Mike because these guys don't have to. These guys are going to do it to someone else. But Mike's going to find people like this. They don't find him. When they find him, he'll rile them up. Because, you know, hey, you're trying to make me look like a bitch. Fuck it. We're drinking. We're pissing you off. We're, I'm getting some gags in. And... Yeah, if Mike ever died, that would 100% be on me. Because, knock on wood, man, like, I've seen how Mike talks to his hometown buddies, and it's not that serious. But with me, we go get into some serious stuff. But yeah, it's bad. And I've been saying for the last month, I'm like, Mike, you're getting addicted to the the chaos doing the content for you when you used to be the host of your stream he you know this is the first guy to hit thirteen thousand views without a bot last year six foot six fish he knows what he's doing. seven dollars what do you think about melchizedek and his relation to christ in his order now is not the time bro what the fuck what are you doing No, Mike doesn't have to do monkey. He could just bring host to his place and do content like he used to. You know, when I met the guy, the guy was rocking 5K, went up to 13K. As soon as he met me, we got into that, you know, those guys with the knife in LA. And we're like, we're not leaving this. And as soon as I, I, I swear to God, I said, Mike, I'm the problem. And then now these weeks, he looks like he looks like he actually talking to Zerka in his head. And he's running around with Zerka. It looks like he's actually right. I thought I riled this guy up. And I know I'm a bad influence to people. Because, you know, why do you think I... Yeah, yeah. But he's doing it himself now. And that's scary, bro. Because, you know, when he stomped out sweater in them, he was apologetic about it. And I just riled it up. I'm like, those guys are faggots. But he was actually never going to fight again after that. Maybe like some boxing. And then I riled him up. And, you know, that spirit of chaos... It's, it's, it's the spirit of the times. It's con content, I guess. How does Mike have seven million on Twitch? Is he a millionaire? Uh, I don't know Mike's finances. All I know is that seven mil is bought it. He got bought it on Twitch. He he had like eight hundred k or something when I met him. I don't even remember, bro. You gotta tell me. Uh, would you avoid fights in my army? No. I'll tell you this. Even with the damage, I have mental issues, bro. But I will avoid being stupid and going to like... Like, who are these people? Black Jew donated $5. 8 LP with 9 energy. I have the same numbers as Carl Jung. Even the Chinese Zodiac is the same. Why are you always shitting on 9s when your favorite people in history are 9s? Yeah, that's why I stopped shitting on them. But that's history, bro. You guys are different. Bro, check this out. Guys, people who are fucked in the head, like... Okay, look, I went to a, a house filled with, like, five therapists, and I said some really out-of-pocket shit to them because none of them could debate me from the books I've read. But I can black pill the fuck out of you guys. And this should scare the fuck out of Heel Mike.
I don't know if I want to do it though. I wasn't 260. I think I was 255, and now I'm a lot less. Uh, but that was like Percocet weight, you know, like from low activity. Uh, hold up. Here's what was I saying? The black pill, yeah? Okay, guys. Think of your unconscious as one in the chat if you're listening, bro. I'm not saying this twice because this is going to be the darkest shit you ever hear. And just transmute Heal Mike's psychic issues with yours. Okay? The, your unconscious that is like a pool where you kind of look into the reflection and you don't really understand your shadow. Could have some nice shadow traits. You know, my shadow traits made me have this awesome life, but it also comes with a lot of bad, right? And making the unconscious conscious is how you individuate and become whole as a person, successful and happy. Uh, not happy, whole. Nobody wants happiness. They want to be whole. That's the feeling. So... For example, you don't know your unconscious traits. Like, uh, the reason you're with your girlfriend is not because you love her. It's because you don't want to end up alone. But what, are you saying that there's nothing I... I do enjoy her company, and I'm saying you put up with her shit because you don't want to end up alone. That's how it works, correct? That's how it works. And you can never actually use your brain to unravel your unconscious. It has to be triggered through trauma... And then it gets repressed, so even then, or through therapy or, or a psychic revelation, right? So now check this out. The archetypes, there's infinite, and they're surrounded by symbols, right? So think of Neptune. The symbol of Neptune says a lot. It's a thought form that's packed with a bunch of shit, right? The deep unconscious, the mystical, the delusions, the world of fantasies, water, all that shit. Think of it, the little trident, right? Symbols are surrounding an archetype. Uh... In the zodiac, let's say there's 12 archetypes, right? But there's infinite, bro. Your brain can just wop, 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 wop. Now check this out. The archetypes that rule you will rule you for the rest of your life and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what no therapist will ever tell you because they don't study Jung and it's illegal. This information I'm telling you right now is fucking illegal. That's why five therapists at that party freaked out when I said it and I destroyed them in the debate. It got quiet. And I'm so glad it's not live, but because they understood Jung. And one of the therapists said to me, well, can't you just change your archetype? No, you can't. If your archetype that rules you is like a Vegeta type, anti-hero. Well, Vegeta changed at the, he changed at the end of the series, but he's still Vegeta. He's still the same guy with development. That's unconscious becoming conscious that's the individuation process but he's still not goku he cannot be goku right if you're obsessed with hitler documentaries rome you will never get chat to stop watching documentaries on hitler it's ingrained through their soul since they're five years old you can never get a human and if you did get him to stop watching fascist documentaries and tanks and all that boy stuff he's ruled by the ruler archetype if you got chat to stop being ruled by that obsession, who would Chad be? A fucking hollow zombie. You cannot switch. If you have the ruler archetype, I want the Rolex, I want money, I want power, you're dominated by that. If you have the beta male, never want to grow up archetype, you never want to grow up, you just want to party, blah, blah. You're ruled by that. You're, that means you're fighting that for the rest of your life. If you know you're a beta male, You'll never have a quick fix, ever. That's why people click on my, when I was a fucking beta in fucking Japan, they're how the fuck did you switch? Dude, I'm, what are you talking about? It's something you have to go back to and fight for the rest of your life. You know? I'm a perfect example who a bunch of my unconscious shadow traits became conscious and I stopped doing them. Right? I made a life out of the shadow. And Mike... His shadow is in full form right now. There's the trickster archetype that wants chaos, but also gets some views. So it's how do you juggle that? The positive negative, right? Uh, if you're ruled by the trickster archetype, you become a fat, expensive YouTuber. Hey guys, new YouTube video. Because you didn't get attention from your parents, maybe as a kid, or that's most YouTubers. 
But now if you're ruled by the trickster archetype and one of your parents dies, you go on to crack and other things. That's why Mikey looks very healthy to me. I, I know this sounds crazy, but his father passing was very recent. And he's dealing with a lot of unconscious, pent up, you know, like, what can you do? That's a fucking warrior going through that. But he's going about it all wrong, right? And this is the darkest thing about the world is that if your unconscious doesn't become conscious, it will build up for years and then you start fighting everyone. And I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you. <clears throat> like, here's this fight club analogy. If you get Mike 10,000 viewers doing desktop streams, do you know he'll miss this? You know how much he misses this shit? This shit pulls at me to go there. It's, there's something about the devil that is, I've never seen anything prettier in my life, man. Like, the devil is a force, and the best-looking version he comes in is the mirror. You don't even know how attractive... Mike ain't make money off this stream, and he still gets pulled to the dark side. And you don't know the dance with the devil. It's fucking euphoric for your animal nature. It, your higher self don't even fuck with it. Don't. It's not even mad. Your higher self's not even mad at the devil. Just, I don't want it. That's what's scary is like you every day there's you have a desire body. Okay, we're getting a little deep, but you have a desire body, a world of desires, and some people's desires are Epstein level. Billions of dollars, what's darker? Let's go to kids, let's go to the desires are never quenched. You can't fill that hole without God. It's impossible, dude. You don't need sunlight to grow a child because there's an invisible sunlight called God that fucking raises you, fills you, grows you. And you're a seed turning to a stalk, stem, and a rose. But guess what? At one point, some trauma you go through in your life happens and you go, no more sunlight for me. No more. Not until I find out what happened to my leaves. What happened to my connection with my father? What happened to my fucking... Why is my stock bent? And you stop growing with God. You stop growing towards God. And that's a scary place, bro. Why do you think when I lived with Mike, I was lit that he, he looked at me. He's like, dude, it's been a month. I haven't thought of anything bad. I'm like, yeah, I'm good at this, bro. I'm like, you want to live with me? But I said that if he knew what was in my head, bro, that was the first month. I didn't think of anything bad. I used to be a very negative guy. Loved living with this dude. Loved it, bro. Like, you know how many hoes we ditch just to fucking laugh, us two? But Mike and Zerka, our shadows are huge, man. Huge. These are the only streamers that will get stabbed on stream type shit. You think Sweater does this shit? No, that fat ass can't even die from a knife. He's too fat. He's worse than you. He's worse without you. Here's the truth, man. Even if I'm there, you think the nights I don't go out, he won't go? He will go. You know, I'm not doing that coping thing where it's like, it's not my fault. But yeah, it's my fault. But if I have one night where I'm like, Reyna, can I, can, can I fucking squeeze you? And Reyna goes, no, but we can watch Moana. You know, okay. What do you think Mike's going to do? You think this dog is going to stay home or is his tail going to start wagging for blood, man? Have you guys never been in this mode? This mode is not... People are like, man, it's the alcohol. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's, I'm telling you, therapists hate when I say this. It's He'll do it sober. That frustration Mike has, a lot of unresolved shit, just like me, just like most streamers. By the way, girl streamers, all of the, anyone who's a streamer, 90% of them, if you meet them offline, they went through some fucked up shit. And it gives them this aura of, like, interest, interesting. Like, you want to watch their shit because you love the scars. You're like, what if I get those scars? Like, holy shit, these psychic scars. You can sense this shit. Like, every e-girl I ever met, they're like, yeah, I was raped. Now I'm an e-girl. I'm like, what the fuck? Girls, guys, they're the entertainers. Bro, they're running from something, bro. They can't turn it off. They cannot turn... You think entertainers can do what I do? Like, oh, 10K views, now 1K views? 
They can't. Who fucking me- I, if I don't get paid, I'll have a mental breakdown too. But if you guys knew how much money Mike was making when he wasn't in danger, you'd see how stupid these streams are, right? I wouldn't want Mike to do these streams for fucking 70 bands a month, but at least then there would be some kind of talk about it. These streams aren't fucking paying like that, are they? Fuck no, man. I'm talking to Mike right now, right? I'm not talking to you. I, I can't talk to Mike because I feel like I'm farming it. So I'm saying chat, but I'm really saying like, dude, bro, you were the first 13K first streamer on kick. Well, that's when we got in a bar fight, but you were doing 8K without that. Black Jew donated $5. Do you only focus on the mystic stuff when picking books? Or did you also read basic business books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad? <laughs> M16 and want to be successful in life, which books should I read? I never, ever have read a mainstream book and I never will. And for business, I hired a mentor and I literally two hours a day, uh, I couldn't learn. I couldn't just read the shit was boring. So I just threw him a bunch of money and asked him a million questions. And pretty much the advice was, you know, outsource all work so you can stay creative. And he raped my bank account. Like he overcharged the fuck out of me. But I, you know, I skipped the queue and, the, you know, now we're here and, and it's great, you know, percentage to Demi, percentage to dead, got E involved and getting a couple more therapists into my website. Uh, I'll take 70% of those therapists. So we're, we're going at a rapid pace. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I've only read um, psychology books that are intertwined with mysticism. Because before psychology, the practice was this thing called magic, like working with the unconscious. Because look, the unconscious is a mammoth. You feed it peanuts, you appease it, but eventually it takes you to the street fight. There's nothing that will stop that motherfucker. And that's what's scary about you guys is if your unconscious wants you to stay home and be a loser, the only thing you have control over is the time frame, how long you want to be a loser. But as soon as you stop being a loser, it's going to walk you back to your room to be a loser. And you have to get out and it's going to walk you back. And eventually that relationship starts going this way and you start switching. But what happens when it switches? Even bad stuff happened there, but at least you're out the room, right? And so if you're an introvert, therapists are stealing your money by saying you can fix it. You're going to be fighting it, your psychological com complex for the rest of your life. But it gets way Fallon better. That's the good part. Zerka is from a family with a strong masculine father, pure feminine mother, a twin brother and an True. older brother. How'd you know Ten that? Intense genetics, <laughs> six feet five inches, olive skin, European, wow. beautiful face, wow. and still... Thank you. Yeah, I swear to God, only... When I stop trolling because people are like, I like your motivational shit, I love your trolling, but I needed to hear that. And I'm, you know, I get that hero complex. I'm like, oh, I'm saving people. You know, I start going harder on that. And then I started thinking to myself, I am an idiot for thinking my family is common. I guarantee you 90% of chatters had shit families. That's why I feel a responsibility. Like, you know, I talked to my brother, Mr. Therapy Guy. And he said, well, what's the other side of the outlaw? You love the chaos, but what's the other side? The ideal self... I'm like, I'm a hero. And he said, don't you feel weird when you make just content about trolling? If you're getting thousands of emails saying you saved me? I'm like, yeah, but you know, I saved these thousands. They're with Christ. They're cool. I did that with the Holy Spirit, you know. And he said, yeah, but why go back to it? I'm like, I'm a funny guy. And he's like, oh, you're done saving? And that really fucked me up. When he said that on in our private server on the call, I said... I'm not done saving. It's just a little break. And he said, no, dude, you take breaks from being Batman and there's people out there trying to kill themselves watching your content. I'm like, they watch everything. They, they don't just watch me. And he said, you know, you're too old to uh, be dominated by the trickster. You know, and I, I, I need in my head, I'm like, I need breaks. I want to do some troll content, but I'm really changing gears because not only is it paying a lot more. 
I never realize I'm the father archetype to a lot of chatters. But if you're if you have a platform, whether girl or guy, you're playing mommy or daddy. That's what you're doing. And I'm tired of being a bad dad, half dad. You know, it's it's like an age that that's Saturn law and order, you know, like. Yeah. And I glow a lot more when I'm like. Uh, you know, I tell chat to do something and then I show you guys the opposite, what I'm doing. And then you guys don't, you know, you guys don't do it. But if I'm doing the right thing and then you guys go, oh, man, this guy gets bitches doing the right thing. I want that life. That look, that's a better mag. That's the official magnet, right? But yeah. But now again, I'll always be fighting that chaos. Like if I, I would be such a faggot if I said, you're not gonna see me like that. Yeah, you are. Because if you're ruled by an archetype, it's inevitable. Could be in a year. Could be in a month. Could be. <sighs> yeah. But this is the first time in my life where my paycheck went up, and I didn't. Sabotage. I like I, I don't sabotage the paycheck, but I sabotage the work ethic in trade for chaos. And this is the first time where I'm like, nah, dude, order is uh I hate to say it, but I don't love order like I love chaos, but I love it on you guys. That few that fills me, dude. Like the gayest quote ever is life starts. No, I'm just making this quote up, but I, this is how I think these corny quotes go. One, if you're listening. Uh, life starts when you start doing things for other people only. Not sometimes, only. That's your career. And I'm like... I, I can't believe how much time I spent trolling, dude. I, Rabbi underscore truly it's so donated horrible. $5. Advice for six life paths in life, but especially in career. Six. Usually they have good family restaurants, but if, if you do business with your family... Or something close, it's not that bad. But six is a very introverted number, you know. So I always say, if you're not uh, balancing your opposite, your unconscious is going to build up and it's going to snap. So, so let's say you're an introvert, and if you're not being extroverted at will, <laughs> holy fuck, are you in for a rude awakening? So you got to play opposites. You think I want to go on that Raj show and stay with like, you know, they're good people, but not for me. But I did it because balancing that opposite gave me a new door. And you'd be a retard if you didn't do that in my shoes. Like, what are you going to just... There was a time where I was like, okay, I'll stream drug deal and go to the club once a week, twice a week, just to keep network. And uh, yeah, even a year after, I said, God will punish me if I just deal drugs i did it one more time a year after with yeah. Hype cock jackson donated five dollars what's the best way to isolate yourself from people who bring distractions when you're trying to focus on yourself that's the thing dude it's never people you're if you're ever trying to change people you've lost you're not god dude you have to change the inner that's what prayer is god give me the strength to work 12 hours days so I become that millionaire that I know I'm becoming. You don't say, God, give me a million fucking dollars. That sounds like a devil contract to me, right? Like, and the devil will screw you over on that one. You get fucked in the ass by Diddy and get a 360 deal out that, you know? Like, God has never, hey, give me a Ferrari and he sends you a Ferrari. No, he'll send you the mindset that gets the Ferrari. That's why the Ferrari feels like, wow, this is fun. Because you got it yourself. And I say yourself because if I say God did it, which God does everything, which literally means don't talk about it, right? But yeah, there's there's a longing you have to be with your higher self because it's floating up there with God. It's like an after image and you have to, it's a mold that you have to fill in with yourself. Kind of like the anima. Like every girl you date will fit, try and fit this mold of your perfect woman, the anima. And when she's not fitting it, like your perfect woman doesn't swear and she starts swearing, you start arguing with her because she's not fitting your perfect mold, even if she's a good girl. And if you have an issue with that anima, because the anima is built from all experiences you have with sister, mom, girlfriends, all females fit that angelic archetype of like female. And women have that too. They have the animus. That's why they're so into me. They're like, man, that guy yelled at me. He, he's such a fatherly animus. He fits the mold of like a man. You know, 
Uh, and their people are desperate for that mold. Like, you are desperate. Like, the mold I want you guys to focus on is your higher self. You need to actually... If you have a picture in your head of you wearing some nice blue jeans coming out of a Ferrari, go buy those nice blue jeans. You're halfway there. And then steal the energy in your head that you have when you have the Ferrari. And that energy is smiling, working, networking, extroverted. That's the guy you have to be, right? Uh, yeah, and that mold is for everything. People are like, well, what moments of my life should I not focus on the mold? Stupid. Every second should have that mold in your head. When I buy a coffee, I go, be extra polite. Be extra polite to this bitch, because that's the higher me. I am Ryan Price donated $5. Birthday, September 19th, 1999, Life Path 11. Making a living doing short form content, but expanding to YouTube. Any advice? Advice, I'd say, number one is always, if you have friends in the game, you go up faster. But number one is Segt value. Bring value, $1. it'll go viral. Born on August 24th, 2004. Hitting 11 life path. Oh, we're not doing Can this. I make it in life money wise? It doesn't matter. You're lost right now. It doesn't matter. You have an 11, so you're going to make... Your problem is going to be how to control your emotions. Because you're going to make it and still be a little bitch. Don donated $5. Advice for a guy who grew up without his father trying to find my place in life at 19. Dad died when I was a kid and my brother got locked up for life when I was 7 just been me and my mom. You gotta grow up bro. Giordani donated you're the dad now. I'm the dad, we're all the dad. To believe the genetic you're 16, you're the dad. The family we are born into is random. Ugly short people with bad parents had to have done something to anger God. Beauty and strength are the pillars of God. Well, in Egyptian secret texts, it says that certain planetary alignments are healthy for kids, and you have to save up the energy. You can't just be piping your wife all the time. And everyone does babies wrong. That's why everyone's different heights and different symmetry. And But good-looking babies came out on good alignments that you're supposed to. Like, you, that's what chanting is. <sighs> is panting when you're piping and... You know, you're trying to make a healthy baby. And that's what, that's like a, like, piping someone is a form of magic. If you're going to bring a soul onto earth. Uh, yeah, and your karma got to be clean. So, yeah, 99% of people on born on earth are born on the wrong alignments. That's why they're ugly, right? That's according to hermetic texts. I don't know. I'm not God. Uh, Jesus told us occultism is satanic. Occult means hidden, right? That's all it means. So, yeah, there's a lot of hidden stuff that's satanic. But there's a reason why he spoke in parables. There's also stuff that's hidden there for higher level, higher minds. Are you and Reina having a fling? I don't have flings with chicks, bro. Unless it's like for content, bro. But I don't do that. What the fuck? You're either my, like... What's that called? You have to be my girlfriend for like three weeks and then we'll see what happens. You can't just be a fling. That means like I'm sharing you with the fuck. No, I need your passwords. What the hell? Uh, yeah, Paul, I look, Paul. Genuinely, this is what I think about Christianity. If there's any bitterness to being a Christian, you're not a Christian. Like, there's nothing bitter about go going to Christ. You know? Eat the book donated $5. So, yeah. Our Father who art in heaven, God is the cock and heaven is the pussy. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, anyways, what was I saying? Fuck. Yeah, I was saying some good stuff there. There's definitely stuff you should run with because uh, this angelic being that, you know, we pervert these angelic kind of sun rays from God. This angelic being is being perverted by Mike. And, you know, you want freedom and then it turns to liberation and liberation from what? From order. This angelic kind of archetypal phenomena that's in our all of our brains is pu pushing Mike to do stupid shit, and he has to unpack it. 
you know, and usually people have to like, um, yeah, a lot of it gets up unpacked at rock bottom, but the problem is when you're an entertainer, there is no rock bottom because it's always going to boost your career, which is your identity. A part of it is your persona, how you reconcile with the world, like just the mask you put on for the world. And, uh, not to say that he's fake, like everyone is fake. Like you guys don't know what color underwear I'm wearing. That's a persona, right? If you guys knew everything about me, then that's the real me, but I'm wearing pink. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I mean by everyone. Like I have a thin persona, so it's fun to watch me, but my persona to myself is very thick. You know, like I don't like to be reminded of my whole self because my whole self is very like when I'm live and awake and conscious, I feel very, Oh yeah. You know, Jesus gang. But I know the other parts of me. Well, I don't know it. They're always going to be behind me, but you guys can sense that. And you know, I have to unravel that slowly. And some people like Goggins will dominate their unconscious and that's, they'll tell you, you can change anything. And yeah, you can change anything. The issue is you don't want to. You like these patterns. So you got to make the patterns healthy. Sama L. Don888 donated $5. Life Path 20 has only a small casino slash game room. Many suggestions for life? You're not a 20, bro. 20 is hidden 11. And we know what they, we say about that. Uh, worst street fight experience. What is this? Cock measuring time? Bro. We're not doing that, bro. Um. <laughs> what is that like? Yeah. I've never bled too much like this, but I have been, my head's been double the size it's been. I've been jumped. Go, I deserved it. Joe donated $5. You say praying is a good thing, which I agree, but why does Gary think it's demonic? Fuck this Gary now. <laughs> Gary knows better than Zerf Jesus. Underwear what? donated five dollars and thirty cents. Drop merch, but some decent design shirts that people would wear. Also, eight yeah. LPN born on. Would you guys wear it? Twenty-three. Some Jesus King merch. Advice. Uh, advice. Don't leave your house, bro. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up soon. But uh, what are we talking about? Yeah, basically, Mike's shadow is unraveling before our eyes. And a lot of the shadow traits are also good. So he'll identify with the good ones. But the ones that are pulling him to get stabbed, he needs to address. He needs to actually talk to his higher self and be like, hey, man. The higher self is a projection where you go, oh, wow, you're living a great life and not in pain. And you're close to God and you're, you're at peace. You're not happy. You're at peace. That's the ultimate bliss. And you never ask that higher self, how do I get there? Because like, you're seeing how you get there. You yeah, everyone knows how. But you're looking at him like, are you real? And he don't wave, he don't smile, he makes the same face you do. So if he's not, if he's disappointed in you, you're disappointed in yourself, you need to go back to that, bro. That, that, that you with wings, you have to go to that, Mike. Tell him to stop taking mollies. Well, he doesn't do drugs. All he does is his prescription Adderall and the alcohol, which is a potent mix. Amphetamine with depressant, that's the fight mix. Like everyone who does, or let's say Coke, if someone's doing Coke and alcohol, that's a fight mix. Even, you don't even have to be a fighter to fight on that stuff. That's, uh, yeah, only thing worse would, yeah, I'm not, we're not talking about this shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? Because at the end of the day, it's, the drugs and stuff like that is, uh, they're superchargers, right? Someone said, why does the higher self sound boring? Dude, the higher self is in a Ferrari with a hot babe and he's calm. He's not jittery like you when you get a four out of 10. Like, how the fuck is that boring? The higher self is when you've had good dates and you were like, she thought you were whole, so you felt whole, like you got your life together. <laughs> what are you talking about? You should be um, in love with your higher self, right? Because all you do all day is talk to your lower self, your animal nature, your desire nature. And you know, trust me, you want to be at my point where I brag about how much money I make, but I don't need it. 
right? I just want more. I will, I will have more. Excuse me. I already have more. I'm. It's coming. Like, let me correct that. Uh, now, bro, Molly. Mike been taking Molly since they said no. He hasn't. No. You can tell who's on Molly. Like that's not. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Bro, if you drank alcohol with that much with that much alcohol with Molly, you know how much you'd be puking. Like, are you fucking retarded? You should bring Sneeko to Kosovo and. I mean, yeah, he's invited. This is gonna be my hometown buddies, and I think Mike's coming. He better come if he's doing this kind of shit. Eric Dubay's views on Jesus. I don't give a fuck about anyone's views if they don't believe in Jesus. Like, bro, I'll listen to you teaching me how to shoot a basketball, but if you say you don't believe in Jesus, I'll never take you serious on religion. Like, that's... I Because I... I'm not the kind of guy who's like, yeah, go Jesus. I tried it. It worked. And I've stayed around people who tried it and it worked for them. And then I have 180,000 Christians who had worked for them in the comment section. Like, yeah, we're not experimenting with your fucking retard ways. The fuck? Yeah. Jesus is the world's soul. Oh, shit, Mike's calling. I, yeah, good news. Mike, I got you all this crazy shit that we just almost What's the realized. We're live, so one, one, text me uh, your email. Sagan's going to send you the VOD so you can have it early. So you can react to the whole thing. So well, it's, it's 40 minutes, but it's like right before the fight. I mean, I don't, uh, wait, I don't, I don't, so, I don't got to do that. I already saw Diddy was wanting it to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, um, but yeah, uh, no injuries, no orbital break, no bad vision. Nothing yeah, it's the cut the under the eye. Needed. No, yeah, it's good. They, it's, they can't really stitch it up, so I just have to make sure I'm on. And talk no, to it. but no, I mean, none of the white got hit, yeah? Yeah, none of it, yeah. Yeah. That, cause that definitely the whites got hit. You know that guy's been over, that guy got arrested a year ago for assault. Oh shit! We have his mug shot and everything. Yeah. Oh. You, you also want to hear something crazy? You going to jail? I had this back. I had this back Street Boys outfit. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna like this, and so are your community. <laughs> and he can back me up. It's not even talk. I'm in this white ass outfit, and we're trying to leave. I go a red tie would look so funny. It would look like so 2005. A loose red tie. I'm Yo, why? Wait. wait. A red tie. You. This is wait, the worst outfit for blood. He's like, tie. listen, you have to hear this. Oh yeah. Look at the outfit, yeah. bro. This looks retarded. I'm gonna return these clothes tomorrow. I bought them today. I'm like, can you take these back? Are these they don't fit me. Yeah. No, nah, you should keep them. Yeah, you know, I'm wearing them tomorrow on stream if I get on band. M Mike, bro, dude. I'm gonna be safe. I got it. But you gotta hear this. So I'm looking everywhere for a red tie. This is some bullshit. Everywhere I go, I can't find a red tie. All the stores are closed. I go, whatever. A red tie would have been good. Damn it. A random lady who's at the mall alone when we're waiting for our Uber goes red tie she goes you need red on you tonight the demons will get you if the red i swear to god you have to defend me on this no it's true it's true some random at like old she, lady old lady who was at the mall alone goes you get red it keeps the demons away red's your lucky color get some wear something red with that That's so weird. And, and was all and she goes i'll do readings for you i was like dude I was like, well, and I didn't get the red tie, and then I finally got the licking. What? The Wait, why did God on my family? How come That's you didn't? How, it was, how, how come you didn't get in the Uber? I I tried to. The Uber driver came out. Did you see that? What? You see, you see everything. Dude, dude, he chased me down to the Uber. I opened the door, yeah, and he was like, and he was banging on the Uber's door. Uber, like the Uber driver goes, whoa, 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 what are you guys doing? Got him between oh, like the stop, fuck? and they pushed the Uber driver out the way. Oh, me and the Uber driver had to talk to police. They pushed the Uber driver out the way, and I we circle the car four times. I go, bro, oh, there's ten of you. Like, uh, he's like, it's a one on one. I go, you guys are all friends. You guys are all friends. Like, what? It's a one on one. I go, one, you guys are black and it's dark out. I can't what see. The it's fuck? like not even a fair it's not even a fair fight. Like Yeah, black people hate go? white people. Dude, and I'm like spinning around the car, I'm like, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight, I'm drunk, because I was hammered. I was hammered. Yeah. And dude, it's crazy. That's why I'm spam I'm still spam messaging Eddie. I was like, You gotta post a bot. I go, these guys <laughs> followed me to the car, pushed the Uber driver. The Uber driver's like, What's going on? Hon yeah, dude, honestly, yeah. bro, that VOD should be on your YouTube channel if you're going to post it. Yeah, I'm posting the full VOD to the YouTube channel. I told you he's good. Look at him. He's a scientist. You want to see what he also got? Look at this. Mr. Mike Crawler. Look how sexy these are. 
Yeah, that actually looks really good. Oh, wow. That's really good. Right. What the hell? Why do they look... Why do you look better there? What the fuck? <laughs> well, that looks really I good. I was fire today. You should have saw my fit. I wore a completely sideways white hat, too. That's the gayest like, shit I've ever heard, bro. No, I did the I did I the same thing. I had a I visor where right. my hair comes out, and I wore it upside oh, down, sideways. Important, important stuff. I'll call you back. Wait, wait, wait. Can I talk to the nurse real quick? No. You tell her I want to. Nurse, tell her I want to shoot no, a load. Let me shoot a load. She's fucking. The second nurse is fine as shit. <laughs> yeah, she she would if, I, if she saw me. Uh, dude, she would. You know, I've never had a nurse that didn't try me. Pipe cock donated five dollars. Difference between praying and meditating, and uh, is meditating satanic? No intention, satanic. But meditation opens you up to thinking. Like, there's two types of meditation: mindfulness, it's more imaginative and active, and emptying your mind. Emptying your mind is good for those guys who want to get possessed, or it's good for uh, lowering anxiety. But I've always meditated by releasing everything about the my world, my inner world, my real world, my superficial world, and then filling it with God. So, so I've never me meditated without God. I don't really get the Eastern thing, you know. I think a relationship with your coach gets you further in life than having no coach and doing it yourself. But 90% of the time... I do have the psyche that I am God. Not that I am God, like the creator and stuff like that. But he wants me to say, I am. I can do it myself. I am a millionaire. The blessings are just the wheels, right? Or excuse me, the fuel, right? But yeah, like I act alone in my action. But in my faith, I've never been alone since I, was, I became a Christian last year. So I've never, haven't been, well, there's days where I'm alone and it, it, I'm sure you, you know which days, like, you can see it. But I always come back because, uh, you know, we are of the flesh. We, f we slip a lot. Yeah. I mean, how many times do you guys fall off the, the God's horse? God's white horse. Because I fall off God's white horse and fall on some fucking Latino white, you know. <laughs> Three times a day, no cap. That's low. What the fuck? Uh, there's way higher than that. Yeah, mindfulness is a good way to put it. Um, and uh, I use I use symbols when I meditate. So, you know, symbols that mean a lot to me. Usually it's not symbols that I'll create. It's like, you know, there's always a symbol that will remind you of your dad. So, I'll, it'll trigger memories for me. And then I pray for my family. And... Like, I'm sure, what is, what reminds everyone, what's a symbol that's a dad symbol, right? Probably a hot dog. Like, you know, our parents don't really eat that, but they'll always bring you a hot dog from Costco. <laughs> so if, if I get that kind of triggered thought, I'll have a quick prayer. And uh, yeah. And the prayer is more like a flex of, I'm, I stopped thinking about Twitter and superficial to go back to family. And it can't be dark. I used to have dark prayers about like, keep my family safe. Dude, it, it's not a drama, bro. It's not, That's ritualistic prayer. That's not good. That's drama that you don't want. It's not that it's invoking anything. It's just there's nothing, there's nothing God ever does that's bad. Everything is your warped perception. Because, listen, everything coming down from God is good. And when something goes wrong in your life, you try and you ruin your relationship with God trying to change his will. But the truth is, it was going great for you before that. So you fell off the beat. You know, you fell off the path. And another thing is like, if you've ever had those dreams where you wake up and that nightmare is over. Yeah, one day you're going to wake up and all your suffering is it's over. You're right. I don't want... I don't know if I should share this. Um, 
Yeah, people who have had a psychedelic trance, not, I'm not, I've never done psychedelics, but I'm talking about in other ways. If you've ever bathed in the solar splendor of God, if you've seen it, as much as it fades and you forget, you always feel like, wow, the ending's good. Like, if you've ever had that. So there's some people who are like 30 who, uh, I don't know, I'm talking about the spiritual guys. Religious guys never never really feel that. But I'm talking about the guys who took it far, right? I am Ian Price donated $5. Wanted to genuinely thank you, brother, because you, you played bro, a fundamental bro. role in bringing me to Christ in my life has changed 100% for the better. I'm talking about visually seeing it, Margarita if you've ever uh, triggered that part of your brain. Zerka, when a it's parent loses intense. a child and blames God, what's the right way to give advice? Um, you, I would never give someone advice that's going through that. They need understanding, right? They don't need advice. They need care. They don't need advice. They need someone there. They don't need advice. It's, that's a very, like, MTV way to look at things. But the trials and tribulations people go through, it, I don't want to, like, make it small but everyone loses their family one day and the pain's gonna be the exact same for everyone so if we're all on the same train all you gotta do is say what does my family want me to do and uh, I'll tell you this, bro. Ed, most people who lose a family member never carry out what their family wanted for them. They just forget. And it's fucking horrific. And the fulfilled people actually complete their family's uh, wishes. Right? Or, this, this is the worst part, is if you don't know what they wanted for you. But you know. But, you know, maybe you guys weren't close. And, uh, yeah, like, bro, gr growing up, you'll have a watch that you hate that one day you will stab someone if they try and take it from you because your dad gave it to you when you guys were like, when you were a kid, that's, that's like a part of carrying out their energy, you know, their energy has to live through you or else you die, right? Like, how the fuck? That energy brought you here to life and you're telling me you can go on without it? Yeah. I think the, the best thing my dad ever gave to me was unlimited confidence. Yeah. Well, he still does it. Like, we still... If you guys knew how close I am with my dad, you guys would be like, yo, that's a little too close, bro. Like, you know what I mean? That's we're like, like Mike would look like a stranger if you saw me with my dad. Mike would look like a stranger to me. Like that's way close. And Mike would say the same thing about he was super close with his dad. Like, but Mike's a soldier, man. You know, when his father passed, he's like. Got his life going, popped off, did everything. And then, you know, it unravels like this, but he don't stop. There's so many people who freeze after something like that. This guy's never frozen, bro. He just keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's about six feet. Yeah, no, as much as I would love religion for you guys, it's not really the black belt of spirituality. 
You know, spirituality is you alone. Like, the, the church ain't going to do much for you, bro. There's, when you, the religion is just the white belt, you got to get into it, man. Then it's about you. I don't have an exact date uh, for anything, you know, I'll just go with the, uh, first of all, I got to get you guys that documentary, so we got to pick that up, that's happening, that's priority one, and then Miami and give you guys some uh, normie content and just spike viewers like that, and then uh, what's my boxing update, uh, I won my trial by snapping right in the last second and now I'm just getting surgery and like fucking I just need one of them anyway really yeah well I don't like to say that live because it's like people have to get me and shit like well I just always think that like you know how streamers are and I'm like fuck bro just wait a bit bird rodeo donated five dollars Born on January 16th year of the Dragon 11 life path I have some motion on my social media. But still work at a warehouse. Should I just double down on social media? You have a 7 and a Dragon, that's Putin. And 11's great. And you're never gonna... There's no number that's gonna DM me and say, should I double down on social media? You're never gonna hear Zerka say no. Okay. Like, I, I'm like, to, my, my brother makes great money, but I'm like, you should be on YouTube tripling that, you know? I'm trying to do, get him in there. Five dollars. Every time I watch these streams, I feel like I have the IQ of a dog, no meat riding. I've never heard more wisdom from any mainstream speaker. How do you get into a flow state like this and clear brain fog? Read books. When you're reading books, you're not downloading the information. You're unlearning. But you've already been taught. That's where you sound. That's when you start saying profound shit. It's like, you'll never see a clip of me where I sound like a TikTok advice channel. Because it's like from the heart. Let's see, now it sounds like TikTok. I'm talking from the heart, bro. <laughs> I fucking ruined it right there. <laughs> My first gay clip. <laughs> Fuck. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like... You know your ancestors and everything in your unconscious and collective unconscious. You know that everyone has ge Any human can tap into genius for two weeks, a month. Some people can yank it. Tesla yanked it to was it, 80% of his life since 11 years old or some shit. Uh, yeah, you have it in you. But why e ancient Egyptians and all these ancient cultures would... The state would mandate thought in the correct way meditation and all that thought loops because the elites fucked you up bro 99 percent of your thoughts are not yours because you learned it from social media and your inner thoughts are genius like literal ancestral dna type shit but it's they're clouded by that phone of yours which is it's like scrying was this skyring is sky scrying it's a black mirror your phone it's a crystal ball, but it's a mirror, and uh, it's gonna send send you into delusions. And uh, you know, I, I know this hurts my paycheck severely, but even bigger than going to God, watch me get a bunch of hate for saying this. Get off social media. That's more important than there's so many guys who are scrolling through a nude feed while they have god in their heart and uh <laughs> dude i'm telling you you're not winning that fight ever you're never gonna win that fight like uh because here's why you can't get off social media is then it then you don't have a social life but a normal person gets off social media and goes to his friend group so that's the tricky part or if you get paid off social media, right? That's even trickier. But, yeah. I think step one, you should just look in your history and see how much, uh, like, everyone who's ever hired me, the part where they want to cry is not me saying anything mystical. 
It's when we're just unsubscribing from every single channel. And they look in my eyes and they go, how come you're not looking at which channels, John? Like, you're not looking to see what kind of content. What if it's good Christian content? I go, no, unsubscribe from all of it. Because it's not serving you right now. So that means it's not working. Just go to zero. And then they go, okay, what should I subscribe to? I go, unsubscribe from me too. And they go, what? I'm like, yeah, you're, you came to me because it's not working for you. You fucking idiot. And they're like, uh, okay, how do I watch your... Well, if you need to watch me, you can always click on my channel. But you're not getting notified by me. You're not watching all my shit. You have a lot of time on your hands now. You know, you're at zero. So as soon as their social media status is at zero, zero, con zero clickbait content, so they just get a normal feed on YouTube algorithm that they don't fuck with. That's the healthy part. And then we zero their thoughts. So we train you to go, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. And you're always going to zero, right? For all your thinking process. And then if it's uh, what you want to do, your dreams, you stay on that thought and uh, you keep building that. You get tired, go eat a meal, get distracted. Nope, I don't need that. And then don't go back to working on your dreams. Just rest and then go back to your dreams. But you never actually go back to... I don't know why people are so afraid to be addicts about drugs. You should be afraid of social media addiction. That's... Like, how? who are you if you unsubscribe from everything? You're nobody. So that means you're the fakest person on earth because you have a sense of persona identity from the, guy, the, the streamers that you're laughing with. No. No, the streamer's making a joke. You're not individuating at all. I am, but you're not. Like, I'm I'm going up Jacob's ladder, and you're watching me go up the ladder. Isn't this a one-sided transaction, bro? You know? So, and people are like, like, I swear to God, my whole life, every two, three weeks, I unsubscribe from every single channel that helped me, and I get new channels. Why? Because... Those are my February channels. Now it's March. And if you if I didn't soak up the info, then I fucked up. You know, I can't go back. It's over. Rotten the Queen donated five dollars. Yo, you brought me back to God. Jesus is king. I've been yeah. seeing twenty-eight every day in the time multiple times. Does that mean anything? It means you crave wealth. Well, I'm not gonna tell you the meaning comes from you. It doesn't come from me. Right? Like, 28 to a wealthy person means something else to them, you know? And you shouldn't look for signs. That's, like, very stupid. It's not black magic. It's just stupid and low IQ. Uh, synchronicity will is a feeling. It's a sensation. It's intuitive. It'll hit you. So, if you're seeing 28 everywhere, what does that mean? Clearly, it means nothing because you're asking what, it, what, what does it mean. When you get hit by something that's meaningful, you feel it. So you go, Zerka, 28, I saw it and I felt this and it reminded me of this. Yeah, that's the meaning. <laughs> I'm not going to, I don't know what the fuck 28 means for you, right? What does Latina fat ass mean to you versus to me? To me, it's like something I'll have in the summertime. To you, you have that thought in you January, February, every month of the year. So to you, it's your God. To me, it's like a fucking weekend in the summer. Right. Is reality shifting real? There's nothing else. That, there's nothing else that I know to be real except that. That when your consciousness expands even slightly, that Ferrari is just next to you. It's your friends though, but you have better friends. And then it, your, your consciousness expands one more time, and now it's your Ferrari. And it's weird, bro. It's... Yeah. Bird Rodeo donated five dollars. How are we doing? What's your favorite method to reprogramming your subconscious? I don't really listen to music, audio books, but what else is best? Uh, I like imp I like to do imposter syndrome. So when I had one year of imposter syndrome and I got really fucking dark, I got really toxic and I went back to some stupid shit. But imposter syndrome is the most healthy thing you can go through like zirka loves rap music but only listens to beethoven and feels like an imposter all day yeah but this zirka is making more than every kick streamer and he streams once every two weeks like kick streamers on my level i'm saying 
you know? Like, I fucking shit on citrus. You know what I mean? And he's close to the money. He's close to the Jewish. You know what I mean by that? And people are like, yeah, but Zerka used to do 22 hours streaming every day. I don't stream. And I'm beating that Zerka. Every year you guys watch me, I'm a better Zerka. More rich. Better looking. <laughs> more bitches. That's someone going up the ladder. And I don't know how people, how streamers have the same paycheck year after year. I haven't had one year where my paycheck doesn't triple. Ever. And if it does, I, I'll lose my fucking mind. Not, not anymore now. Because now I know that there's uh, plateaus that you have to be passive on, not active. If you're active on plateaus, you lose your mind a bit. But... And it's greedy too, right? You don't want to deal with avarice as you're going up because that's that, that never ends. That's like lust. You know, you don't want to deal with lust because it never... Heel Mike will pipe a thousand bitches. Is he satisfied? Is he... No. He's, his thirst is actually growing more. The desire doesn't stop inflating just because you nutted. Okay? That hole needs to be filled with something. That's why... There's no better feeling than your career is saving souls. So I found God because of you. Well, I'm getting rich because you're saying that, bro. Thank you. But I'm also doing one thing correct. Thank God. You know what I mean? That's balancing. That's such so healthy for me. I can't imagine having a career like the rest of the world where they go to bed and they don't have one email like that. They just go to bed like, oh, I sold a car. Like, well, then fucking kill yourself. No, don't do that. But, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 Also, it gives me room to be stupid. I don't beat myself up when I'm stupid because I go, ah, oh, at least I'm saving souls. Like, when the chat hasn't saved one soul, I'm probably, I'm probably like, I probably saved a hundred thousand plus souls in one month. You know how hard that is to do. Adam O three donated five dollars. Holy Spirit! You remind me of a me. mix between Hunter S. Thompson and Jordan Peterson. What is your opinion on those two? I don't know Hunter too well, but as much as I shit on Zionists, Jordan Peterson's so healthy for your psyche, man. I don't like the. I don't like to say. The individualistic thinking is everything because that's a little Andrew Tate and hustler culture and it's a little fucking gay. But you compare someone like Tate to Peterson and bro, why are we pretending Peterson didn't expand all of our consciousness together? Like when he came out, it was like, you know, he's great. I love Peterson. I just, I don't like, I don't like the book that much. The sit up straight book. Jesus is Lord donated five dollars. It seems I can only remember the end of my dream. Since you're interested in dreaming, do you like the movie Inception? Tips to start dreaming more. It seems I only can dream like once a week. Uh the number one thing you can do for that is what is your routine before bed? If you're not Rating yourself of anxiety before bed through a system. Uh, have you ever slept flexed? Like half your body's tense? That's not sleep, dude. You're hurting your money doing that. I'm telling you, you are... I don't care if it takes you 10 minutes or 2 hours. You need your brain at zero when you're going to bed. And that means... One look at your Twitter before bed, even on low brightness, will spike it to a thousand. And it'll take you another hour to take it to zero. So this is the most frustrating thing if you're not doing it correct. So, yeah, sleeping tense is, means you're on your phone before bed. And here, I'll, here's your best sleep you've ever had. You... You went to a lake house with your family. Everyone had fun. They were playing in the water. You got tired in the water. You guys go back, have some marshmallows, and you touch your bed and you go to bed. You don't look at your phone. That kind of vacation sleep, that's how your whole life should be. And I spent 29 years of my life doing it wrong, so you're not behind. I think I just started doing this right uh, last year. Well, not even like, we'll look at last year. I will we'll say last few months, because last year I was doing it right half the week, which is so horrible. 
Yeah, shout out Martin and I love harsh ones. Yeah, they're real as fuck. They're the only people I watched religiously. Like, they're awesome. Do you ever do dopamine detoxing? Yeah, I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't been to LA or Miami in months, and that's where like my life gets colorful. Right? Five dollars. Right. Please don't pretend the dating course will get you money for the next twenty years. Save whatever you get from it now, and play it safe for when you grow old. The more you pretend money will always come, the more you will fuck yourself up for- What are you, are you retarded? Are you fucking- Bro, last year I could do fucking 10k viewer streams and I wouldn't make money like today. With these lower viewers. Like, are you- Money will always come, uh, to people who know what they're doing. Because money is just energy. That's all it is. If you know how to manipulate energy, you're golden, right? And how do you manipulate energy? S don't do it. Start with manipulating yourself. That's an energy source. And then you're a magnet. It's, dude, money is valves. You turn a couple of valves and it starts flowing. Then you go back to your old habits and it stops. Then you turn them back on and they're flowing. And a smart man just turns on the valves and keeps them open. And they all doing something, and he just stays in his higher self and doesn't go back to being an idiot. That's it, right? But yeah, money is super healthy. If you're not making money in life, you're with the devil, 100%. Okay? Like, when the Bible says you have to sweat from the brow, who the fuck doesn't get paid from sweating from the brow? What? The eagle donated $5. Before I go to sleep, I yeah. sleep in the state I desire to be in and doze off into that feeling and i make sure to wake up in that state dude if you're waking up on edge you're doing everything wrong it's very simple okay i'm not saying getting out of bed is easy you know mornings suck for everyone for most people like who hates the morning time it takes like an hour to roll out of bed and, uh, but the point is you get it done because there's guys who stay in the bed till they're sweaty if you're staying in bed till you're sweaty, you just can't get up, you're like stone, that's severe depression. That's yeah. Willie Bounce been donated five dollars. Tips for jawline maxing. Um someone in chat said it recently about like cause I don't give fake advice. Like I don't know what the mewing shit is and stuff. Like I don't even buy into it that much. So I don't really answer questions like that. But someone in chat said, Zoomers don't eat hard foods. And I'm like, oh my god. That is so true. You know what I mean? Like, I can't think of cheese. I think of cheese or drinking yop. Or oh, you guys don't know what that is. <laughs> like, they like their yogurts. and I like the yogurt too, but... I, you know how much red meat I've had in my life? Like, I, I've i never had a week without, like, four steaks. Which is not good. It actually ages you if you look into it. But we're talking about jaw. I, I've had a lot of hard things in my... What the fuck are we talking about? What is your take on low vibrations or high vibrations? It's always balancing them. So people with low vibes need to go high, er, not high. And people with high vibrations, you gotta be like me. Like I have very high energy and then uh, if I balance it out and talk to make a few fucking business calls with my team, everything goes up. Oh, but if I stay high, I got high vibration. I just, I'll do it myself. And that's work. That's working too many hours. Like, no, if you're working a shit ton of hours and you're making a shit ton of money, you're killing creativity and creativity is like, you make one good album. That's $10 million. Like there's not, there's work and projects in between work. That's how life goes. Right. So for like a book, Zerka does these streams, the good stuff I say, gets clipped up, it gets stored in a file that gets put into a book in bullet form with the real thought that I'm trying to express. And that's how the book is made, right? And then I make up 20 mil off that book. DDG underscore representative donated $5.
As a Destiny fan who've been watching you since 2018, what I'm proud fuck? of the numerology grift for easy money. <laughs> I remember when you told Sneeko you only do it cause it makes you a lot of money. True. Top G. True. True. But that's not where most of my money comes from. It's from manipulation and dating. Numerology is just... Uh, like most people who sign up 500 bucks for a call with me, don't... They go, okay, thank you for the hidden numbers. That's cool. I just want the law of attraction, but paint it for me. Don't give me no bullet form, this is what you do. Paint it for me. And so then I'll begin with the highest level manifestation. You know that word, the gay word? The highest level law of attraction is a poet. Because if you guys say, I have a Ferrari, that didn't bring a picture to anyone's head. But if you say there's honeydew dripping off the V8 of my brand new Ferrari. Now, that image in your head that went from shadow to form, that is how you manifest. That's why these poets would be like Shakespeare level famous because everyone knows what they're doing with that kind of uh, with that kind of a mind. That's why poets, they say, are the closest to understanding God. Because they can literally uh, do God, uh, the imagination God gave them justice. And remember, Floyd Mayweather doesn't believe in God and stuff, but he holds on to the imagination that he's number one. And God rewards him and says, hey, if that vision's that clear to you, you deserve it. That's how it works. Like, you don't have to be with God to get blessings from God. It's just the 100% certain way is. Your actions can be towards, let's say, you want to take care of your family and stuff. You think God's not going to notice that in Floyd? No, he's going to notice that in Floyd. Like, what do you think? It's just about, what is this Protestant preaching, bro? You think it's just you saying it? Berserker, would you take a mic? Or would you take a beating like Mike? No, bro. Bro, what are you talking about? Fuck my... What, is that what you want me to say? Get the fuck out of here. Destiny's opposite. Destiny's ruled by a thing that rules over me like for a month of the summertime. Like I, you know, I pipe some bitches and I do what Destiny does. But he's ruled by it year round. Like... If Destiny doesn't have the idea of piping a chick in his head, he doesn't do a 12-hour stream. He, he's perfect at sexually transmuting energy. Because he just does the treat. If I do a 12-hour stream, I can go to her house, just finish it, stay on top, stay on... That's exactly how nerds should go. Like, if you're more nerdy. But... Rotten Aquid donated $5. Yeah. Do all dreams have a deeper meaning and how do you go about interpreting them? I had a dream where I shot an old friend after he shot at me first but I still called an ambulance for him. Also any book suggestions and how do I book a numeral? Yeah, you didn't shoot your friend, you shot yourself. Because in most, mo most of the characters in your dreams are going to be you fighting you. So, you should look into that. But uh, it's not the meaning you want. It's you want dream amplification. So, what we do is... You tell me everything you saw in the dream and we amplify it because you have to get all the pieces and the, the image starts coming back to you. You just want to amplify the dream. You don't want to actually know the meaning. Like, Well, you want to, but you're not going to actually have the meaning. You just want the amplification. That's the symbols. That's all you need. Symbols is how you can go into that world of forms in your head, that imaginative, imaginative kind of, that I'll call it rich. It's ritualistic because it's play, right? Would you play with? happens what you will does not happen without play you know like i play with my money and it comes into spade it comes in spades or i can do a 20-hour stream and it can come to me in a it has a bottleneck it has a you know there's a restriction there busting my ass type shit right so now i choose like okay i can do four hours of work to our break and the break is play. I'm playing with imagination and you should see my team, dead hex and diminish. All I do is predict the jumps. I'm like, we're gonna go up 2K this week. Then we're gonna go up 10K next week. And then all my predictions go correct because I know, I know how much time it takes.
Well, I don't know. I'm guessing. He donated five dollars. This nigga really thinks the plane is gonna blow up on the way to Miami because of the gas dragon. Your enemy. No, Eclipse. Eclipse is why I think Miami. it. I watched it's a time. Boeing. I watched a Boeing video, and now I'm terrified. The door came off, and I'm terrified. Someone opened the fucking door. Dollars. How do you check your star chart, planet alignment during your birth date? Is there a particular website? Also, could you give a brief explanation on each of the planets and their meanings if they are present during your birth? Bru There's only three things you check for, and every 99%. I'm not even being sales guy right now, bro. 99% of astrology on YouTube, I swear they talk about retard shit. Just get into sidereal Vedic. There's the only guys that can give you at least 5% of what you need to know. Everything else is, it's off. And it's not even geocentric, so they're really off. And number two, the planets are different. Like, an idealistic version of myself uh, would be like a Kim Kardashian first house Neptune. So I have that. But for me, it runs delusion too, because it's the, it rules the imagination and the unconscious, and it's spiritual as fuck. That's why when I talk about God, everyone comes here. But if like if another streamer talks about God, it's kind of like. They're talking about God with Mercury in the first house. It's like very logical and thinking and thing. It's stupid, right? Um, but yeah, there's only three things you check for and the things that are conjunct or opposite. And like, I only look for the big stuff. A good one would be like, um, Connor's got a Jupiter in his identity house. That's money. Jupiter brings you five money. Dollars. My ex broke up with me five months ago and i can't escape her out of my mind i want to forget her ass sometimes i even have dreams of her i distract myself by doing good habits jim my purpose at yeah you're never gonna get her back because you want her back but your want is building the world that you don't have niggas donated five dollars <laughs> stop living in fear and come to miami Shut nobody up, is going bro, to rip the door off the plane <laughs> uh just just relax bro because uh let me tell you this bro i i'm gonna live in miami like when i'm there i'm never leaving so i'll be there for the rest of my life like you're gonna get bored of it trust me you're gonna get bored of miami as well like it's not like i'm coming back here you know just relax, bro. Also, these streams are better for you, bro, because you're still a watcher. You just watch to be entertained. That means you're numbing yourself to something you're running from. You should probably learn something. Pick up a pencil like hundreds of thousands of other people who changed their lives watching my shit. You, sh you don't want to be that part of chat. Because uh, we are bored. I'll tell you this, dude. Only women get bored. Like, how can you be bored in God's world? Like, you're like a whore. You're bored. So turn the channel off, bro. This is like the self-help network. One in the chat if I should never stop helping my chatters. Because, dude, there's very few people living out their dream life. You know, like, like a Hollywood celebrity can't speak, say what they want. That's not the dream life that they want. You know, I'm getting both worlds celebrity status saying what the fuck I want you know and ban that guy bro just ban him he's you're getting negative bro easy my king you gotta go okay and your mom's a fucking faggot okay she's a whore and we spit on your whore mother in this chat there you go you know? manifest the spit off her fucking face that fucking dirty rat whore mother you have yeah, been watching me for years. Yeah, John Zerka thinks your mother's a whore. Thank you for watching me for years. I like the money, faggot. And look, now the whole chat is saying your mother's a whore. That's a lot of... That is a lot. And you know what's funny? Even God thinks your mother's a whore. That's what's funny. Or else, why the fuck would he speak it through me? <laughs> I'm kidding. This is way too... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why the fuck am I going with that? 
I'm possessed by God right now. And, I'm kidding. <laughs> The Jachi donated five dollars. I don't want her back. My life was good before oh, I met her. Cope. I just want to be back to where I was. High vibrations. I was a magnet and attracting all the good in my life. Chad, does he want her back? You wouldn't bring her up to me if you didn't want her back. And dude, step one of wanting someone back in your life is you're putting out in the quantum field that you don't have her. Which means the quantum field is going to change the matrix. So you can't have her. That's so dangerous what you're doing, bro. Like change your thinking, change your language. Right? You already have her. She doesn't have you. That's what's happening here. Jesus. And bro, honestly, I don't have sympathy. If you don't have abundance of girls texting you, you're a faggot. You've, you've set up your life wrong. Right? Like, no girl can give me stress. Like, John, I'm just going to leave you. And I go, don't leave me because then I'll start smashing every bitch in my phone. And they go, what? I go, yeah. Like, keep me normal. And they go, why? And I go, I get lonely. And they go, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I'm very lonely. And they go, okay, maybe I'll, maybe we can work on our problems, John. I go, thank you. Thank you. Don't want to be back to whores. I like having uh, one girl to, you know, be around. But now think of it like this. If I didn't have bitches, she would literally just leave. She'd be like, oh, I'm not going to stick around with this guy. Like, what the fuck? So, God, give me your number one advice on losing weight. Uh, practical stuff would be fast until late at night. So you're not spiking your insulin and being hungry. And the hungers go away very quickly. Within a few days, you'll be used to fasting. And then step two... If you eat 300 grams of protein as your first meal versus 300 grams of carbs, which is cereal, so steak or cereal, you can finish that cereal in 20 seconds. And that steak's going to take you a while. So why don't you start with that steak and have a protein shake before every meal because your stomach will turn into concrete. You can't have three scoops of protein before every meal and actually finish the mcdonald's it's really hard you'll be like Ugh. so fill up your stomach with that much, a higher percentage of one gram per pound body weight protein and then also add maybe a peel of an apple so that's high fibrous so high protein high fiber activity and you're on your way with fasting I, ooh, jesus donated five dollars hey zerka is the reason why you call yourself a pedo and rapist <laughs> a part of karmic retribution the belief that you have to admit what you are in order to get away with it? Is that also why you wear the Masonic symbol? No, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a rapist. Uh, uh, do, I, do I sound like I'm lying right now? Uh, yeah, it's more of a middle finger to society. I'm like an outlaw, bro. I don't. You tell me I can't talk about murdering children and... I'll start talking about murdering children. Like, that's who I am. That's my nature. I think you watched me before. That's I literally do what you tell me I can't do. Because, yeah, something fucked up with me there. But, no, I've never been a pedo. And, I mean, you know the people I date. I think I've dated one 18-year-old. And that's it. Now, if I only dated very young, that's... It's not the smoking gun, but it would, you'd definitely build a case. Let's go, pal! Yeah. Rotten Aquid donated five dollars. What's your thoughts on Robert Greene? Is he a faggot or is he spizzin'? Seems know. like his books are best for developing a certain type of ego. Is that even a thing? Uh, I don't know anything about that, but Neville Goddard's good for the kind of stuff you go, you're looking for. That's a good start. Uh, yeah, karmic retribution though. I'm sure I've done it, but not for that stuff. Maybe He's I've donated five dollars. Subconsciously done. Best way to suppress appetite, bro. I am constantly craving, and I can't help it. I've spent seven hundred this week on five guys already. Please help. Uh, you should probably talk to your doctor because these people who have binge eating disorders, you don't have a binge eating disorder. For example, it, there's something that 
there's a this is there's a trauma in your life that's making you do uh this kind of neurotic impulsive behavior and for example if you stop doing the cheetos you you'd replace that dopamine hit with coke so a coke addict is the same as an obese person and an obese person is the same as a coke addict it's just you, you want more and more and more and uh you know therapy is way like therapy is way more effective than trying fad diets but also it's like when you appeal to your higher self you're gonna dis disassociate the taste of food with something good it's gonna you're gonna associate it with being a fat slob and uh that higher self you can do anything that's goggins bro <laughs> But you gotta unpack some of your shit, man. So Zinnigat donated five dollars. Jesus is God. Born on the seven LP seven Virgo Tiger. Bro, do I go to the gym at night then if I want to fast? I'm trying to be more outlaw. Should I do boxing? What? Didn't you say you want to lose weight? Uh, no, go to the gym fasted while your horm hormone profile is higher. And. Uh, the whole point of fasting is that if your eating window is you can only eat for four hours a day, uh, that cuts a lot of calories weekly. So your net calories weekly is like for skinny guys will be like, I eat all the time, but they're just eating a lot on Monday and Tuesday, and then they don't eat for the rest of the week. Weekly, that's what matters. So if you're calorie shaving, fasting is a good way to uh, one hour window would be great. Yeah, I like one meal, but uh I think you should start with like a more realistic window because yeah another thing is you need a career and social life because have you noticed a lot of you guys that i talk to tell me when you guys were social before covid you weren't eating that much like if you have a career and people to talk to you forget about food they're filling your dopamine in other ways you know what i mean so it's like your your loss of self is the first thing you should address like who you were because uh yeah yeah or you could do what derek from more plates more dates does right what does he recommend for you binge eaters i forgot what it's called but he, he has a ton of clients in the comments who say he's really good at the derek's really Josh, good you donated five dollars i don't want to do fitness thank here. you my nigga Thank you. That's actually the best advice. I didn't even think about what I was doing to the quantum field by my thinking in all aspects of life. <laughs> the way he says it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're ever beating yourself down, it's why you're a loser. Like, look at immigrants who make it in the West when they come to America. They have very, I am already a genius. I am a millionaire. I just don't have the money yet. I am. Right, and you look at immigrants who don't make it in life. I just don't have. I got another parking ticket. I got faggot language, faggot thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal. Zillow donated five dollars. Nigga, holy shit, you're right. When I was playing football for high school and was going to parties and hanging out with friends, I completely forgot about food and was actually in shape. Yeah. Yeah. Especially women. Like, if you're around chicks, your dopamine goes, damn, I kind of want her to pet me. But if you're around, the, like, cheeseburgers, you go, that burger better pet me, you know? I can do it all. I can. Do, I've been a skinny bitch. I've been a fat bitch. I've been. I can do it all. So I, I get. But it's all different psychic frames. It's not really. Uh, like for example, never work out again. I have. I have a client who can never work out again, and I can get him lean. Right. If I focus just on his mindset, the diet will get him there. You know, like it's not that answer of go to the gym is not real. Don't go to the gym. Don't fix your diet. Don't do anything till you fix your mind. Once you're appealing to your higher self, the food choices become a lot easier and the, the training becomes a lot more fun. And uh, This is vision work. You have to, if you're not seeing a vision, the molding isn't going to happen. You're not going to have that kick in your mind that goes, actually, go, go leaner, go leaner. And the guys who are really good with their minds, they get six packs and they go, I need 15 more pounds to lose that that that's a solid mind that's that's that mind is turning into stone at that point 
Um, and then I would, for them, I'd usually look at their money. I'd be like, actually, you're losing, like, monthly. You're making less because of this six-pack you're obsessing over. So that means you're not going to hold that six-pack. Because if you're losing one way, it's going to bounce. you got to find the equal. Black people do half a crime donated five dollars. Bro, you should make a guide to manifesting. What type of stuff do you do to manifest? Believing you deserve it, writing it down. What else? Yeah, it, uh, here's some basics from my clients, but uh, <clears throat> thinking, intuition, feeling, and sensation. These are the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. Uh, not in that order, though. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, the, this is your first... Um, the first symbols you play with in your mind, right? Uh, so, with the Zodiac, there's different signs that... Well, I, you, you probably know. Like, For example, I genuinely think you guys are all the thinking type. Most of you guys are the thinking type. And the guys who have channels, you guys are probably the feeling types. You know, like you have all of them, but most of the chat overthinks. Am I crazy? That's why they're chatters. And that's like the number one issue. So if your mind is overthinking a lot, you're it's avoiding play. And that's a big no-no. Your mind has to go to play. While it can't be played like you're playing, uh, you know, what's that called? Roadblocks or whatever you guys do. Play means play with you know, your imagination, like you got to see what you're trying to build. So that's manifestation is just play. That's why the queen and king of England hold the scepter and do that ritual is they're doing it on a higher plane. You know, like it's like a ceremonial magic what they're doing, but it's a, a magnet towards what they're trying to do. And that's, that's also why in the Bible, it says the heavens, like the kingdom for the child brain. Like the play brain, that can I can do anything. And the Bible says, you want it, it's yours. Believe you already have it. So that's step one, right? And that's also why God introduces himself as I am, as in do it yourself. And he's going to, um, uh, it's like a gas station. Like he's going to send you the fuel and you're going to do the rest. Um, but all good is done through God, right? All bad in your life is you perverting the good uh, so yeah basically we go over intellect feeling amplification and motion of thought you want to molecularly change your thought from thinking to feeling or feeling to thinking is the more dangerous one but this is how you play with the idea of oh i am successful and as soon as you see the vision in your head and hold on to it you'll know the one that's real because you'll actually hear your head say, I am successful. And then boom, your journey is started. Have you, your habits are going to change over time. And usually within less than seven days, you're going to let go of it and take a break. And now you've got to start from the beginning. So it's, you've lost because people are like, I think about manifesting all the time. Yeah, but that's not play. Your imagination is not thinking, it's play. That's how it creates. Like your imagination played into your divorce, right? When you picked up a girl, you were playful with her. That's how you magnetically got her. It's not a, you didn't think, think, think so hard. No, thinking is like your bitch, a little tool, right? And then the tool starts owning you when you're overthinking. We go over that and we go over faith. And then the most important one is second nature. You do something 28 days it cracks into second nature, that's subconscious. So if you could be positive for 28 days straight, uh, which is a lot harder than it looks, bro. This is like, this is a whole moon, bro. But if you can do that, everything you're doing becomes second nature. And then it gets amplified the next month, next month, next month. Uh, yeah, and then you'll hit me up. Zirka, I, I fucked up. For three days, I was negative. Well, you lost, it's over. Don't come to me anymore. You lost. I don't even want to help you anymore. If you can't do 28 days, why the fuck would I restart with your faggot ass? There's, I know so many guys who went through so much shit and they did 28 days straight and had good results. You fucking lost. Or the worst is the guys who will lose when it's second nature. This is fucking horrible, bro. That's a fucking failure. 
Uh, yeah. Like, if you watch all my streams in 2024, it's like best year ever. It's it's all the same energies. This guy, right? Because this is the winning energy. But I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do get, like, the tail starts to wag and I go, I want to go faster. And no, no, no. Faster is middle path always. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Um. Uh. I could retire my parents. They got money though. The fuck? And they love the world. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal. In Canada, Canada? You donated five dollars. I like reading Neville Goddard's work. He really yeah, brought me good. closer to the Bible by incorporating scriptures into his work about manifestation. Yeah. My favorite book is Out of This World. Mark eleven twenty four asks I, I believe it's I I, I worry about that because everyone who gets into Goddard's work. I've noticed that they fail miserably because then they're so hooked. They're so hooked on his work that they go to other practices. And dude, 99% of the manifestation market is like single moms selling you books on Amazon. They're raping you. So that's why I say Goddard and Carl Jung is the best way to deal with uh, psychic processes. You know, these are the guys because Jung's going to tell you the issues. Um, how to spot spot for them, and Goddard's gonna tell you the ideal higher self. So this is a good. Well, Jung's a little complicated for you guys because if you don't understand all the terms, it can get very weird. So you should understand self, unconscious, anima, shadow, everything, right? Yeah. Um, is there gonna be blue pill without his dad in life? Yeah, I, I actually think that. Yeah. I feel like people without dads are always faggots. Like, have you noticed that? Like, people who grew up without dads are always faggots. Rotten Equate donated $5. How the fuck do you retain so much of what you read? Is it the drawing? I've been highlighting what I read, so I'm consciously reading. Is that a good tactic? No, I do it in a hypnagogic state. So, I do it in between consciousness and unconsciousness so i play with thoughts i don't read when i'm like i'll read with a coffee but if i'm not learning i stop i don't take a break i leave it alone until it goes back to play but most of my learning is done in between a wakefulness and sleep like the tesla method and i have a method for that that's really detailed for my guys and uh yeah i can't say that word but yeah i used to do it I had no idea how much I used to do it when I was bouncing. But all random topics, kind of random. Should have been one topic. Donated $5. My double seven ass, I live in my head, bro. What could I do to break it in social situations? What? Double seven? I treat it like a job like you said when I was single. Is it possible now that I'm in a relationship? Well, I don't get the question. What did he say? Double seven, I heard? You can't fully grow from a broken starting point. There is no health. Bro, every human is broken, bro. Like, there's no healthy starting point. Like, check this out. This is the white pill. This is going to motivate the shit out of you. If you've been a loser for 30 years of your life, you have so much unconscious packing you can do that will leapfrog everyone else. You can tenfold surpass people because there's so much psychic content you haven't released. Plus, it's charged over that many years of you being a loser. So that's why if you look at most inventors and geniuses, 55 years old, then they make a billion dollars, right? You look at most geniuses in high school, they're nobodies today. So, yeah, if you're a loser for 40 years of your life, hit me up because you've got, I want to take percentage off you type shit. Yeah, it's just those habits are strong to break. If you've been a loser for 40 years, you're probably really stuck in your ways type shit. Stuck in the fucking dirt. So, yeah. Okay, we'll wrap it up soon. How do I improve focus when studying? Just study without caffeine as long as you can for as many hours. And then incorporate coffee. I don't ever... Well, I always have a coffee when I'm studying, so no. Don't do that. Stretch it. Stretch your regular psychic ability. Right? Oh, I can... I can do this. I'm awake. 
can do this. I'm learning. Stretch that. It's kind of also with feeling good. If you feel good, don't take coffee. Don't have a cigarette. Don't have nothing. Stretch to feel good as long as you can. Right? So uh, if your buddy offers you a drink, but you feel really good, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, we'll have shots, but not right now. In 15 minutes. Stretch it. 15 more. Two hours pass. And then you only have one drink at night. But, yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of times you're in a good mood and one coffee spikes your anxiety or, or alcohol ruins you. And it's like, dude, you have to always, every second, be checking the moment. Be like, am I good? Oh, shit, I am good. Let's not get off that vibration because uh, I can play a rap song and your goodness can shift. I can play Beethoven, your goodness could last. But the whole point is holding the goodness. Like, I won't even play Beethoven if I, if I feel good. When I get a little fucking anxious and shit, and I haven't done enough today. Then I'll, uh, let's get the harmonics against the fuck. Let's get some Beethoven going in this house. And, uh, it really works. Really fucking works, yeah. But the whole thing is coaching yourself through your higher self. He's chilling with God, bro. He's, he's not even real. He's just smiling and waiting for you to fulfill his mold. So that guy should be checking in on you. And, uh, you know. Yeah. Donny donated Lana five dollars. John, evil. there's a video of Trump and his wife looking at the eclipse. Wouldn't his hermetic mage have told him not to look at it? Uh, dude, we're in such a material world that y the last people who will listen to advice are the egos like Trump, right? But I know Trump had a Kabbalah teacher, so I know. But Trump's the kind of guy that'll stare at an eclipse and say, I have perfect karma, and I'm going to make a wish on this motherfucker. <laughs> you know? Or if you had sex during the eclipse, you're in for some weird shit with that girl. I guarantee you. Yeah. Because that's, sex is spiritually, that's who you're married to in the spiritual plane. If you <laughs> Fresh didn't do that. How do you know that? What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, should we wrap it up? One more question. Let's get the fuck out of here. I need to sleep. I was supposed to sleep, but I want to unpack this so Mike doesn't hit up Diddy and go, let's party again tomorrow type shit. You guys flood Mike's DMs and get him right. Yeah, I'll check my Twitter messages. Just say serious inquiry and we'll fill you up. And I've got so many people i got to do, bro. Do you believe in what Rudolf Steiner is talking about? Yeah, a lot of things. I I had my mentor started me with Steiner and it was too hard, but now it's starting to look a lot. Now I'm starting to connect dots. So a lot of it, yeah, he's spot on. But uh, I've never read an author and said I believe the whole thing unless it's the Bible. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I I genuinely believe most of the Bible is under the Vatican. Like I feel like we have some political versions of the bible and you know i feel like obviously we have the meat and potatoes which is good you can't stop that but yeah monkey no not tonight guys i mean not, like i shouldn't be doing it before bed anyway because uh i'm very toxic on that shit i, uh, <laughs> I have some some it takes me a while to get up if i well you only have this much emotional energy in a day if you're a businessman you could spend that rapping a song in your car and you got to guard that energy, bro. This year, next year, and every year after that, you guys got to win in life a percentage of my wins, and you'll be golden. All right? Is women hate you, and you suck, and you make no money, and me saying that to you isn't making you guard yourself. That's horrible. Right? Like, you guys immediately go, no, you, Zerka. You're supposed to say, nah. You're not supposed to actually fight me. So you're never going to win that. You're my chatter. If you're my chatter, I'm better than you in every single way. Every single way. Your ancestors Margarita lose to my Pinellas ancestors. Donated ten dollars. When is your interview with Alex Jones the show? I don't know. No, being born 21st or 23rd or 22nd, they're all charged, bro. Those are good numbers. 
Those are good numbers for the stuff you guys are into. You guys are into what I'm into. Yeah. Yeah. I'll always maintain 22 is the strongest number, bro. Because uh, 22 is all in Gematria. If you look at the Jewish Gematria, 2 is... Two, 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 two. If you're seeing twos, that's bringing you the diversity, balance, and the scales of winning and losing. So that's because three, three is more just winning. You know, you never see thirty threes ever like lose really, except that young Pharaoh guy. He's fucking off his rocker. He's on drugs, I think. There's people who are on drugs, and it's like, yeah, it's train wrecks doing Adderall. You know, that's cute. He's fucking killing it in life. And then there's people like Young Pharaoh on drugs, and it's like, bro, get off them, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, Trainrex is the reason I even uh, found out what the fuck Addy is, because I'm like, oh, he's taking prescription Addy? Remember when he said that to his community? And I'm like, he, he has a big business brain, bro. Like, do you guys know him from Scuff Podcast, but that guy knows how to... I've never seen someone jump up layers in success like that. Financial layers that are, dude, like he's beaten journeys of success. Those are journeys. Where he's at in life, that, that's a journey. He's has multiple journeys under his belt, bro. That's retarded, bro. Like just a couple of years ago, he was just regular streamer. This is fucking crazy what he did. Yeah. I'm gonna look at his chart. The training's gotta have some hidden 28s in there. Is having two threes anything near 33? No, but Rocky, was it ASAP Rocky has two threes? So he really can talk. That's really creative energy, bro. And I'll say this, bro. Uh, threes sell better than 33s. 33s just get more influence. So, like, they have more potential. But threes definitely talk their ass off. 33s don't. Some 33s don't sound. In, in, they sound intelligent. But like Gary's 33 looks good on him because of the 7. The 7. Like he unpacks. The way Gary does a little 10 second TikTok short is actually very, very genius. Right? Like keeps your attention. You know, Gary's like the only creator that I can actually turn on notifications and watch his shit. I'll be like, this is good shit. Like entertaining, and you don't even have to buy into it. You could just, if if I was like I fucking didn't even like this numerology stuff, I'd watch it because the way he pack packages it, right? And I was, You're a fucking bitch, <laughs> right to the camera, and then he adds his what he's trying to do. Also, I like Gary's traps. You know, he put two sales traps you got to choose from, and you go, I'm not falling for you, Gary, and you choose his third option. That's the most expensive. He's a fucking good at what he does, bro. Like, you you can't beat Gary. If you want info, he's gonna get you, bro. Like, you know, he's good. Yeah, Gary's like sales genius. Very likable too. He's like, he can surround himself with a bunch of people quickly. Like, that's hard for me. I was like, fucking leave leave me alone, guys. Zirka, will you become numb to the hunger of fasting? Yeah, within a couple of days. Bro, uh, if you're in the military and you don't sleep for a week because you're just in basic military qualifications like BMQ, uh, you adapt to that too. If they don't feed you, you adapt to that too. 100 push-ups, you adapt to that too. That's what God made you so you can adapt to anything. So why is the diet stopping you? Fucking pussy. Well, it's not a diet. Fasting is way better than that. Right. Plus, even if you're not dieting, fast so you guys stop your aging process for eighty percent of the day. Some of you guys, are some ugly motherfuckers, bro. I gotta say, like, fucking, bro. Like, imagine when you meet God and you guys go, like, hey, I'm that fucking ugly guy. And like, what fix that shit? You fucking beauty is bigger than money. If a billionaire comes in a Bugatti and he has no jawline, you go, hey, Andrew Tate, why is looking at your face so funny? Something's missing, you know, like, and then God goes, damn, your soul got deformed down there. What the fuck happened to you? Yeah, and all ugly people are with the devil, right? The nicest people who have helped you in your life have symmetrical faces. They look a little cute. They're, 
they look or very good looking or they got some ugly people or nasty people you shouldn't even trust, right? Okay, there's one Ted Bundy that'll kill you from the good looking guys, but very few good looking guys are Ted Bundy, bro. Are you kidding? Like, there's no such thing as a good-looking rapist. The The case always is that she got dumped by him and she called him a rapist. There's never been a good-looking rapist. They all look like Diddy. They all look like Harvey Weinstein. There's never been a good-looking Chad rapist. Ever. You can even tell the girls who lie. Because you don't... I, don't tell me about your rape. Uh... How many girls did he rape? And then the girl goes, yeah, a lot of girls think he's creepy. No, no, how many did he rape? Well, no, they think he's creepy. Why are you changing it? Uh, did he, did he, uh, when he raped you, did, did he just like, you know, block you and go on to other girls? Every girl does this. <gasps> no, I was his favorite. Rape victims don't talk like that. What the fuck? You were his favorite? That's what you're holding on to? If you got raped, you never, you go, I don't know. Dude, I'm telling you, Chads have never raped anyone. It's the biggest myth on earth, right? I used to believe it too. I'm like, yeah, maybe, you know, it's always the ugly guy throwing the Frisbee in college that's the rapist. It's not the fucking Chad, right? Because Chads look at an unconscious girl and they go, I'm too good for you. I'll have you when you're sober. That's how they think. Chad's actually believe in God. They're like, thank you, God, for this face. I know you're watching me, so I'm going to act right. But ugly people go, you're not even looking, bro. You haven't answered me ever. I'm going to rape this bitch. Yeah, short people are rapists. Ugly people are rapists. Um, Non-social people are all rapists. Uh, people without clout are always... Always rapist. If you don't have clout, you're always rapist. Five dollars. How do you become witty? And also, you're right. The halo effect is real as hell. I had a crazy glow down, and the way the same people treat me now is absurd. Yeah, dude. If you ever want people to like you more, just shut the fuck up. Right? You go to a party, you sit down, and people are talking to you. You go, damn, bro, that's crazy. And you just sit here and you realize how much people yap for no reason because they have anxiety, social anxiety. And just talk when you mean something. I like Inception. That's a good movie. That's it. I like Inception, but Christopher Nolan actually threw me off with Tenet. Even though you spell it backwards correctly, it's still Tenet. But uh, shut the fuck up, you fucking faggot. Tenet was a great movie. Okay, you just didn't understand it because you've never had a black friend. Yeah, I thought it was a great movie. Same with Napoleon. Why did it get such... People shit on... Napoleon is the greatest fucking movie I've seen in 10 years. It's a really good movie. I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. Right? So a lot of short people watch that and related. We just gotta kill all short people, man. Like, what? Five foot five and you wanna pass genes to this unconscious woman? What? Are you crazy? Even if she's conscious and loves you, you're not allowed to mate. Okay, not in this reincarnation cycle. The fuck? You want to look at your five two kids and say, I got to pipe your ma. At least I got to pipe your ma. Right, you got to, I got to climb your ma. I Dunkle? Or well, Dunkle is a grown man who cuts people cuts people's hair. Men's hair. And gossips on for clouds. Like, I get newsjacking, but gossiping? What the fuck, bro? And it's even weirder that he gossips when he's offline, too. Hey, John Zirka said this about me on stream because of the chatter baited him. And it's like, bro. But Dunkel is feminine because his dad is in jail. Because his dad stole a plane or something. I forgot the story, and I don't want to use it against him, but I said it to his face. I was like, yeah, bro, you grew up with women. That's why you're obsessed with trying to make me look like a bad guy. All I did was platform you because I felt bad for you because you really want to be an influencer. And it turns out, I mean, everyone has it. He'll make it one day. You just got to keep working at it. But this whole always talking about people, it's like, bro, give it a rest, bro. Like, we helped you. Just thank us. 
Yeah. He needs to forgive his dad, you know? The person you hate, you become. That's why a gay guy sounds like their mom. They hate their mom. They're afraid of women. That's why transgender people become the parent that yelled at them, don't cut your dick off, you fucking bitch. And then they start going, don't tell me I don't have trans rights. And they become their fucking gay ass parents. I was, my dad's greatest advice was, oh yeah, you want to go do weak man beta male shit? Go do it and learn your lesson. Go do it. Be like the rest of them. And then I look at my peers. I'm like, yo, my dad's right. My friends are faggots, bro. Like, what the fuck am I doing what they're doing? Right? You know what I mean? Like, everyone needs an inner voice that's fatherly that says, stop being a fucking homo. Homo's a temperament, too. Like, dude. It's like you guys filled with grudges. I've noticed this about chatters. If you love being in people's chats, what's up with the grudges, bro? You guys hold grudges over people I forgot about. Like, this girl said this about you, John, and what? That's not even your, like, relax, bro. I forgot she even existed. I actually took a shit down her throat last time I saw her. I didn't even think she's human. I don't even have any feelings towards that, and you're rebinding them. So you're reprogramming how I feel. Like, what? Yeah. Do you have a grudge against HS? Fuck no, bro. I love... Uh, I love all men on earth because God instructs me to. But why I didn't want to collab when he first wanted to is because I got faggot energy from him. And I still think he's the same way. Like, just... You know, like, some people you don't mesh with. So, I don't love your his style. Like, if a British guy sat next to me and just sucked Aiden Ross off. Aiden, we gotta do this. Neon, we gotta do this. I would sit down and be like, why, bro? You're HS. Like, don't you have your own social media? Like, are you running around with children sucking them off? You're supposed to call them little Jew and fucking little Indian bitch. You're supposed to be a man. You're not supposed to beg for clout. And I feel like he needs a dad in his life to tell him, like, you don't want those clips haunting you where people post clips of, like, now Aiden hates him and stuff, and that looks like he got disowned. But I can't look like I'm disowned because I called him a Jew since day one. I didn't call him a Jew. What am I saying? Yeah. There's some people who have character and stuff, and I go, why not, uh, uh, why not reach for it more? Why... I don't know. So yeah, do I hate him? Zero percent. But that style, I hate that style. It was like when Hill Mike said that thing. Yeah, I, I like that Aiden made the kick platform. What did he say? I was like, bro, I don't like this style. This is not, humans should talk like this, bro. HS dad left him. Bro, God bless Harrison, whatever, what's his last name? God bless Harrison. I don't want him to change his ways. I don't want him. I don't have anything. He's Everything is correct for him. But he lets girls lick his butthole. And he said it's hot. Like it's a turn on. That has to be something to unpack in the unconscious. I'm not even joking. I've, I know so many people who roll in jujitsu who all are into that. And that's why they roll with men and shit. But dude... When Heel Mike told me he's done that once, something about the asshole. And I almost bitch slapped that freak the fuck out. And I almost ended the friendship for real. And then he told me it, it was that time of his life. I was like, oh, wow, never mind. But uh, was it Ice Poseidon got jerked off by a... I'm so stupid, I thought it was a chick. So I watched the clip. I'm like, what the fuck? And then you guys told me it's a fucking guy? And I find out late, I'm like, whoa, what? And my dumbass actually watched it again. I've never done that before, but I just want to look in the eyes to see if he's a home one. He's like this. Jay donated $5. I got two bodies, but never had a girl. Do I need more dig in EXP before I get a long term or just get a girl? Just get a long term and play it right from day one because it's going to go horrible anyway. Okay. Look, dude. 
if you've never had a girlfriend and you've just had hookups, you don't have confidence in the world. That means no one gave you a good morning text ever in your life. That's a fucking faggot. But I'm nothing like HS. I've never had my fucking booty played with. I've never bragged about that. I've never done what Ice Poseidon done with that thing. I haven't done Aiden smelling chairs. Don't ever say I'm anything like an influencer, bro. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Kill myself on stream. I've never had one faggot moment in my life. Fuck are you talking about? I've never... Yeah, bro, She. I'm ruling her because she's playing my fucking gooch and butthole. The fuck are you talking about on that faggot talk? Bro, what the fuck? You think anyone's fucking dad hearing that? Or fucking Ice's dad watching him get... Uh, uh, uh? You, think, you think these dads are fucking proud? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. And that's why I say, I'm like, players are always homos. Every player is like, bro, she she ate my ass. Oh, so you like your fucking, you like that asshole stimulated is what HS is saying? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, like when a hot girl does it, it's, it feels good. You know, that's all right. That's, that's me and the chavs, bro. Bro, it's all right. No, I think I'm going to assault you in public now. What the fuck? That pissed me off more than anything. That I'm like, bro, why are you linking your legacy to me if you're getting your fucking faggot butthole licked? And this is exactly what chat does. Riles me up so it looks like I hate someone. I said this before we even had a problem. Cheese donated $5. I swear to God, there's clips. Don't mean to interrupt, but can you read my numbers? Born April 29th, 1997, Ox year. Hitler's an ox. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And, bro, I don't care. Dunkel's tragedy where his dad went to prison, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't feel sorry for you. If your dad went to prison, you are just like your faggot father. You have faggot DNA. Okay? Your dad's in prison, Omega lol, bro. What the fuck? What, am I supposed to feel bad for you? If your dad's in prison, that says a lot about you, that you have faggot DNA. Like, women need to be watched by prison guards. That's like a woman. Can't control yourself. You're fucking locked up all the time. Right? And his dad, look at the story, too. His dad stole a plane to run away from him and his mother. Like, in, his dad would rather be in prison than give birth to a hairdresser. He's like, my son's a bag and I'm just going to prison for... You know, stealing an airplane is not the way people go out. That's like he couldn't even break the law. So he's like, you know what? If I steal the plane, they'll get me away from this faggot child. And bro, I don't give a fuck because Dunkel's going to see this and he's actually going to change. He's going to be like, maybe I'll stop gossiping. Maybe this is faggot behavior because I didn't have a dad in my life. And bro, I got many things I got to unpack. I'm just human, right? But one thing I'll never unpack is sitting in my bed thinking, where's my dad? Like, he's fucking right there. My dad's right here. Like, I go up to my dad. I go, hey, thanks for not going to jail. Why didn't you go to jail? And because my dad would be like this. Because you're not the faggot that I thought you were. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. No, nah, he wouldn't say that. My dad don't even swear. But, uh, yeah. HS is cool. But the, the part where he m months ago bragged about getting his fucking butthole lit. And you guys think it's games until it happens to you. Bro. I, almost, I swear to God, I almost punched the girl for trying. As I don't know if she was joking, but I swear to God, if police ever come to my doorstep and say, you punched this girl right in the fucking teeth because she tried to lick your asshole, I'll say, yes, officer, and I'll do it again, and I'll beat the shit out of her to death because that's rape. That's faggot rape. You get raped once, you're a faggot for life. I'll, that's how it works. If you get raped once, if one tongue touches your fucking booty hole, or this is ice beside him, like, yo, Chad, do I have more clout? Bro, there's a dude gripping, gripping another dude on camera. And I say this, being faggot for camera is worse than being a real faggot. There. Because that'll never end. There's clout here for all of you guys then. The fuck? You gotta draw the line somewhere, man. But yeah, other than that, Ice Poseidon's cool. And look, man, here's the thing. 
I know this is going to get me banned and in trouble in the future, but 70% of gay people are actual pedos. Like, they have the impulse. Uh, 89, 90, no, 85% of men who've had their butt played with once by a woman, all of them turn out to be closets. They probably don't do it, but they have the urge. All of them, bro. You don't know red pill players like I do, bro. If they're a red pill channel and they give dating advice and stuff, and they're telling you that they liked anal and all that, they're always homos. Every time they're, well, you know, when I was 15, uh, this older boy did this to me, John. I'm like, what the fuck? You're red pill, bro. They won't say it on stream, but they all got molested and fucking had their root chakra fucked up. And, bro, honestly, I feel bad for you if you got raped. But get the fuck away from me, you fucking rapist. Like, all rapists have been raped. So if, if someone's been raped, they're about to turn into a rapist. 100%. Right? All abusers, all abused become their abuser. Like, most of them. So get the fuck away from me, you fucking rapist. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're not a rapist. I don't want to take chances, bro. I don't want to take chances. Also, if you have thoughts, like, where you're attracted to me, uh, what are you doing having those thoughts? Like, what? It just lets his friend watch him as... It bro, stop talking about this fucking shit, bro. Because you're running imagery, bro. That's fucking... Stop, bro. This is, why I, this is why I hate comment sections. You guys post, like, a BBC. Thinking it's funny on my Discord and shit. I'll delete my old Discord if I open up one more fucking funny joke you think it's a funny joke it's funny because it's a gif in your phone that you look at that you pull out you look at it you actually that's what it is to look at you look at that stuff okay and the guys who find it extra funny are extra faggot 100 percent. like and bro check this out i've never been around gays but i don't even hang around potential gays like, I'm more afraid of potential gays. Because the gays just stay away from me. You know what I mean? Why did you act like a pedo? Bro, I've acted like a psychopath, a pedo, a rapist. It's fucking hilarious. It's just not hilarious if you actually are. Right? Because that just means someone touched you as a kid. You got touched. You got fucking violated, bro. If you've ever been touched as a kid or molested, get the fuck out of my chat. I don't trust you. What the fuck happened to you, you fucking demons love you. Go f unravel that, you stupid bitch. I don't care. This channel is not a good Christian channel. I don't want to be around that. This is disgusting. Okay? I All accidents that happen to you, I know you feel like you deserve them. You don't deserve them. But you deserve to get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Go to God. Get the fuck away from me. Okay? And if you run trains on chicks, get the fuck away from me. I said this for 10 years straight. I haven't changed my position once. Get the fuck away from me. You should burn in hell. You and your buddy ran a train. You huffed and puffed as he did, you fucking faggot. You synchronized your chance. You fucking nasty. Yeah, anyone who runs trains on a chick... First of all, it's kind of sad. Hey, we don't have any bitches, so can we share? Okay. Yeah, this drunk bird right here, she's down for both of us. Oh, there's a cock involved. Okay, I just won't touch it. That makes me straight. Oh, yeah? That makes you straight? Why don't you put a tutu dress on? You know, at least you're piping a chick that's straight, right? Do it in a fucking tutu dress since it's a girl and it's straight, right? Oh, why don't you do that? Because it's gay? Yeah, it's gay because there's a fucking dick in the room, you fucking mm -hmm. faggot. Other than that, those people are cool. I'll forgive someone if it happens once and they deeply regret it, but stay the fuck away from me. Bro, all, none of my friends have gone through weird shit like that. Like, I didn't grow up with, you know, I didn't grow up with any of that shit. That's just weird. His boy penetrates his girl. Like, bro, why are you telling us that? Like, just stop, man. 
it's sad that bros brag about that. Uh, and I don't even think it's the no dad thing. Sometimes I think it's like that Zoomer energy. The Zoomer energy of let's share so we don't have anxiety. If we're alone, we'll have anxiety. Let's share. What lion would ever share their fucking mate? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, if it was up to me, I would get in any deviant sexual practice. Anything, I'll just cut everyone's head off. If I was Napoleon, I would say, what? You like, you like feet? Is that what you like? How about we cut your fucking feet off and kill you in Times Square, you fucking weirdo? Yeah, any dude who likes feet should literally burn in hell forever. Like, a toenail gets you going? What? Rooster donated five dollars. This is a good stream. Spitting calls, even gay jokes piss me off. They're trying to paint yeah. a picture. Yeah. True. Nothing else is funny except BBC. Justin uh -huh. Powerhammer donated five dollars. Twenty-two life path seven day, November seventh, two thousand two. Scorpio, how do I turn this into money? You're Gary, but build their version. That is insanely good. Like, wow. You just pick something and build it. You know. You're Myron with a seven. That's insanity, dude. That's such good such a good for individual combo. Yeah. You should look in your hidden too. See what else you got. Because usually if someone has good shit, there's even more good shit. Usually it balances out actually, but I've noticed that the lucky are a lot more lucky than regular so yeah Zerka do you have 6 LP in your circle no but I like 6's when I meet them I fucking click like bro a 6 is like this sub Zerka and I'm like yo what up and they're like this and then they stop talking and it's fucking heaven like thank you for that bro and then you meet an 11 and they go Zerka you know what if I did this for you I can roll like shut the fuck up bitch I already hired you you fucking bitch let's see you Let's see you manifest. Let's see you manifest at a set snail's pace, you fucking bitch. Uh, HS humiliated you. Bro, Percocet is more of the damage, bro. What are you talking about? HS is, uh, how you say, a man who gets his, uh, what's that called? Rectum? Harrison Sullivan gets his rectum licked by a woman, but he's straight. That, before we even had a problem, I made a clip saying, what the fuck? You know, I gotta let shit go, bro. I like really, like, I, squ I was calling Ice Poseidon a faggot for like one year straight. I was like, I think he's a low-key faggot. And bro, I was right. I'm always right. Anytime I sense it. Yeah. I went to Miami and only Gary and Myron were the straight dudes. Even Fresh throws me off sometimes. I'm like, because Fresh is a straight guy only around women. But he gets so happy to be around his whores that it's gay. So there's like some gayness there. You know what I mean? Whereas Myron and I are kind of grumpy with our whores off camera. And Fresh is more like... <laughs> gotta go in the box and I'm, I look at mine I'm like bro like he, he gotta be hitting that more angry more straight and Myron goes like don't talk about fresh like that and I go bro what the fuck fuck you Myron and Myron goes fuck you and nah, I've never talked to him about any of that but I have said to fresh I'm like bro bro like you're you're a black guy smiling ear to ear in a Lambo truck with an F sized titty whore and you're saying, Zerka, jump in. You think I want to get it? That looks like a, this looks like a nightmare Miami situation, dude. This looks like we're, go, we're getting up to no good, bro. This looks like... How do I look in the backseat of F-sized F? You know what F are? Like, F-sized fake dits. And he's just smiling. And so Fresh oh, picked me up like five times in, in, in one week. Like, we kept running in a small place, right? And... He kept always saying, I'm like, yo, so what, what's up? Like, why did you throw me in, right? And like, where are we going? And he's like, I don't know, where are we going? And I'm like, what? 
Like, Fresh never has somewhere to go. He just drives around till he sees hoes and picks them up. <laughs> he's fucking effective, though. I've never seen him alone. And he saw me alone, like, ten times in a row. And he's like, Zerka, you get all the bitches on my show, but you're alone? And I'm like, dude, that Lambo truck is... There's got to be something... He's a five light pass, so he entertains them, too. He's got that entertainer energy. Or he's a five energy or something. Something's magnetic about him. It's definitely not that gr- not that grill, bro. Because when he smiles at a girl, he smiles like... See, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Fresh smiles at them like he's gonna kidnap them, bro. <laughs> when I smile at a girl, it's like I'm gonna like make fun of her. So it's kind of like different. But when he smiles at girls, <laughs> he's like in the bushes, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mario's base. He never smile at the bitch, bro. Right? He just pat them like good, like a dog, like fucking. <clears throat> yeah, I like Mario's energy the best in uh, Miami, right? Like, what, remember when HS got mad because he they won't red pill platform him? They're like, yeah, he's not red pill. He's not going on the show. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> and he had a mental breakdown. He's like, no, I deserve to be on that platform. And no, bro, you make money with OnlyFans whores. Like, you, you're not getting on there. But now I'm going to start doing that. I'm opening up an OnlyFans agency, bro. I don't give a fuck anymore. I think I'm going to open up. What's it going to be called, though? I think you and HS would be homies. Yeah, I could see us being homies, but I can also see him telling a girl behind my back that Zerko's a bad guy so he can pipe. He's got, like, Zoomer energy. I would never do that to him. Like, ever. Like, even if I hated the guy, I would never stoop to faggotry. You know, like... Yeah. Yeah, there's some Zoomer energy I don't like. Like, do you, you know Myron? Myron would never whisper to a girl, Zerka. Like, bro, but he didn't know me. And girls are like, oh, you know Zerka? Myron would be like, he's a great guy. But on podcasts, he wouldn't say. He didn't, he didn't know me, so he wouldn't say on podcasts. But, you know, for the hoes, he never pulled me down to, like, win them over and shit. And I repaid Myron, though. I one time called them with this baddie, bro. And I'm like, yo, thanks for the podcast. She's coming over right now. And he's like, no, she's not. And I forced it to happen. And then Myron's kind of like, nah, nah, doesn't want it to happen. And then after it happened, Myron's just like, okay. He's like, I got him some fine ass shit. Like, this is this is how I did it, bro. The girl's like, oh, so you're famous? I'm like, yeah, he made me famous. Who? And, boop, boop. and I just fucking gave her the face stuff. And uh, I think he piped within 10 minutes of meeting that bitch, right? Yeah. And I told the girl when I met her again that week, I said, nah, I can't pipe you. And that's like homie rules. And she's like, why? I'm like, because Myron won't put me on the podcast. And she's like, what? I'm like, nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I made it sound like he's my boss. And she's like, oh, so that's how it works? I'm like, yeah, I got to go clock in some hours for Myron. And the more I put myself lower, the more she wanted him. She didn't even know who the fuck he was. And I did the whole, you don't know who the fuck Myron is? Bro, you make no money, bro. That you, That's the podcast. That's, you know Joe Rogan? Who the fuck you think put him on? She goes, oh, I've heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Have another shot, bitch. I got shit to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, people do me good. I always try to repay them like 10 different ways. Right? Sneeko, I felt bad for. Because like, when I tried to get Sneeko some birds, it was like the kind of girls that would stab you. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. Sneeko's naive, man. Why is Mike still on the screen? What the fuck? Yo, Sneeko's kind of naive, like Zoomer energy too. Not in a bad way, but look at this. Bro, check this out. This is the funniest story I never told. I, I always remember it, but I never tell it. I always forget. Bro, when I had no cloud and I had 20,000 followers on Twitter, right? What the fuck? Sneeko, I guess he's been famous so long he doesn't understand how fame works. So, it was like, it was a year and a half ago. Before, when You remember when I was with Sneeko and Arab? <laughs> so, I put on all my fighter notifications for UFC fights. And I'm like, I'm sure Dana's going to get Conor a fight, Khabib. So, I put on all my notifications. <laughs> and... I'm like, yo, Cinco, this chick likes you here. Uh, uh, I message her and stuff. Me, Arab, you, Yassine, we're going to go out. And I give the phone to Sneeko. And he gets worried that he's that he's reading too many of my DMs. He's, I open one DM, I hand it to him. And then 
Conor McGregor tweets something and it buzzes. You know how it shows the top? And then he's worried that he's reading my DMs. He goes, yo, Conor messaged you. And I go, who? And he goes, Conor McGregor. And he gets up and goes, gets a glass of water. I thought he was trying to be funny. I grab the phone and I look at him and he's dead serious. And he had that look in his face like, man, Zerka's got 20K follows. Like, how the fuck is he disconnected? He had that kind of look like, like he should be doing more for himself. I mean, he's never jealous or anything, but like, and I remember like, yo, this guy's a fucking retard. Like, I couldn't believe, and I said, for business purposes, I'm not going to tell him that's a noty, right? And then I was like, shit, yeah, I better take this. And I went to the balcony for a cigarette. And then he puts me on fresh and all that. Like, nah, he probably forgot. Like, that's not the reason he did it. But I just let him believe that for like a year. Uh, he probably doesn't even remember that. But that's the first time I had a celeb celebrity notification. And someone said, yo, you got DM. It actually looked like the fucking... Because it was like an emoji he tweeted. So it looked like he messaged me an emoji. <laughs> and I'm like, yo... Sneeko's been famous so long. He's been around so many famous people that he thinks everyone just, like, connected even if they don't have clout. Like, his brain is fried, bro. And, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, though. It made me really think, like, wow, he grew up with the internet and I grew up with, like, half-half. Like, I, I'm old, bro. I grew up a little different, right? Like, if I got an emoji, I would never, I don't care how many far Sneeko has, I would never think, I'm fucking Connor's hitting up Sneeko with an emoji, laughing, crying face. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was funny as shit. I, that happened like a year and a half ago, and I never told that. No, two years ago almost. Yeah, 2022. But, yeah. I remember the first thing Sneeko said to me. Like, I started pulling some bitches on camera, and he's like, I've never seen that before. And I'm like, what? He's like, you have the worst team around you. There's no way... You're not viral. Like, you suck at YouTube. Because uh, you have it. And then that, my confidence was always high, but I was like this. Wow. I think Fresh and Fit is my podcast. Like, I'm about to crack. And he's like, yeah, when I put you on, you're going to crack. And I fucking crack that bitch. Most asked for guests, right? Tate had to get arrested to be asked for, bro. We just took over that bitch. Yeah. And I had such a good life, man. Like, shoot me with a bullet right now. What a ride, man. The only part I didn't like is when I was being accused of being CIA all the time. Because uh, that's when I really started doing dumb shit. Like, I was like, if I do dumb shit, they'll never accuse me of being a fed. Remember that phase? The doxing phase? Yeah. So that ruined a lot of relationships, too. I was, like, frustrated and shit. Yeah. Yeah, what are, you know what's weird though? I still, this is gonna sound like huge cap, because I, you know, Cloud's fun, it's hilarious and shit, but I still like 2022 more than 2023. The Haas streams, you know that phase? When I started reading again, my mind started changing. Damn, those years went by. I, I still feel like. Uh, 28 or 27, excuse me, because of COVID. But COVID really hit hard, man. Like, I'll never forgive those lips. They, they need a burning out. Cause, doesn't anyone feel like two years has been stolen? I guess this is how the Jews felt in World War II when that never happened. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is the worst podcast moment I ever had. It, with the girl. The girl was like, I hate Hitler. I'm like, me too. Especially when I found out he didn't even do it. Right? He's <laughs> six million short on the receipt. And she freaked out. I was like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like, obviously, he did it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I can't think of a human who's had a more rich life than me. I had all this, all the jobs you want to have. I had all the bitches you've ever wanted to have. I didn't pipe them like how you guys. I made them bark like dogs. I made it the hot way. I conquered them. I made them cry for me. Well, they cried for me. Like, I did everything I ever wanted to do, and then, fuck it, let's crash out. And I did that, and now I'm here, most money I've ever made, doing fuck all. And, yeah. Yeah. It's 
a good feeling. Like, if you've been on the journey with me, you know no one had more fun than me, bro. Like, dog. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, Yama, I hope your mother gets stabbed with a penis against her will and raped. That's what I hope. Okay, Yama and chat? Fucking faggot. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Love, love, love. This is a Christian stream. Love, love, love. <sighs> yeah. You still got no virgin? Yeah, but they're ugly, bro. Like, one in the chat if you like nice, curvy, wet hoes. Water, skin, their skin like water, their face like butter, but their body, bro, but her face, but her body, but her face, <laughs> right? Like one in the chat, if you would want to pipe all the chicks that I've had, like one in the chat, if you would want to be reincarnated as John Zerka, yo, there's some gap ass niggas in this chat, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, you guys would want to be reincarnated as me over Andrew Tate because he don't get genuine burning desire from his dream. His dream is whores. You know, my dream is more chaos. I don't give a fuck about whores. They give a fuck about me. But man, you're jealous of Jack's relationship. McGinley actually loves me because she's like, wow, you don't like me. Like, you're, you're easy to be around. I'm like, yeah, you're not hot. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've never been jealous of Jack's relationship. I just thought it was kind of... It raised some questions when he said he never piped. What the fuck? That was weird. Oh, guys, I forgot. Dude, I was going to do a tier list. I've never kissed and t told. Like, I keep all these, you know, all my past secret, all that. But I said, fuck it. I don't, Fuck those bitches, bro. You know, they fuck, they're, they're not going to do shit for me. I might do a tier list on the best box I've ever had. And put all their faces and all the receipts and all that. I was thinking no one's ever done that stream because they can't do it. Look, no one $5. can do it. If you had to start again, amongst all the wisdom you've gained in your life, what's a few things you'd tell yourself that you'd hope would lead you to the knowledge you have now? Um... I just wish I wasn't alone for most of it. Things really started opening up when I got a little social, you know? Which is around 25, 6, 26. Yeah. Uh, alone 20 to 25 is way longer of a feeling than any other age for some reason. Yeah, alone at 28 is different than alone at 22, you know? Like, yeah. Like, not being around friends now is kind of different, but damn, bro, I was talking to my brain, I was talking to my thoughts for so long. Been talking to myself forever, yeah. And how I wish I knew me better. That song hits, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Because I never realized, even though I didn't cry, I was crying till 25. Just not physically. Like the inner child inside was like. So in a way, Raj and them are angels. It's like. You don't consider them friends, but you're spending five hours a day on stream with them. You know? What woke you? Well, I swear to God, I'm not saying this for clickbait. I swear to God. Look at me when I say this. I prayed on New Year's. And a month, well, the three weeks, month later, I don't know. I bought a, three, a $300 PC after New Year's because the prayer was to do this YouTube shit and some dude in the internet just reached out on Omigo and said come to this show and I was like oh synchronicity I prayed for this 
And then I had that feeling like, I don't want to do it. And then it was so meaningful that I'm like, oh, that's the gate that I kept missing. I kept missing this gate. I never had this gate because I never even had a YouTube channel or anything. I didn't try. But I said, oh, that's my now or never, which was dangerous. If I didn't think it's now or never, I would have just done it more healthy. But I, I went hard. Ticky Ticky Taki donated $5. How are you not a spell caster? Every time I watch your streams at night I fall off the wagon and get depressed because lack of sleep which leads to falling off the wagon. You yeah, fuck off. Like, you don't have to watch this. <laughs> and plus, you're falling asleep. I'm not even that interesting. Just go to bed. Yeah, I'm just reminiscing. But yeah, God just gave me the gate. And... I don't know if you're like me, but I'm the kind of guy that, like, let's say football. I can't play good football unless everyone's a fucking beast. Then I play a lot better. But everyone, if everyone's shit, I play shit. I do good under pressure. So that stream was fucking Casey donated fire. $5. Raj John the Patel. first DM'd you 18 times asking for a reading slot lol. You never respond to me on X sad face. I'm a 33 that got fired Dude. from engineering and I need advice. Bro, I have over $21,000 I haven't read yet. So let me get these guys done first. Like, they're literally, I have their money. Like that's fucking scammer energy. I got to read for fucking all day tomorrow. Margarito Canales donated $5. What do you do to prepare before an interview show? stream uh the first time ever i did nothing but <laughs> i just kept seeing flashes of going back to my old life and i would have this thing in my head that's like who cares if you sound corny just be real because if you're real that guy is so badass because i know when i'm like if i'm alone with a girl girlfriend and we're not entertaining, we're just chilling. You know, I do the same jokes and all that, but then, you know, there's some real moments. They go like this. Oh, oh, that's who you are, John? They give me that look, and I go, man, that is so magnetic, like the deeper me. And I'm like, if I can show 1% of that, I'll have a following, because that's my higher self. I didn't know all this, but that's what I thought. And, yeah, that confidence did come from, you know, like, well, bitches love me, so I'm gonna pop off. Everyone, if the bitches love me, the chat's gotta love me. Chat loves the chat. So that helped. But also, it's like, there comes a time in your life when you get that knock on your heart and the, the chambers of your heart actually vibrate. They don't pulse. They don't go faster. They kind of just... You get that, like God is like, and I'm like, shoot. him donated $5. Love you, Zerkia. I'm a Scorpio horse, life path 1, 07, 11, 19, 90, making music. What should I focus on to bring people to Christ? Focus on your music. But you're a water son, you'll do good with donated music. donated $5. Because you're Christian and I believe I'm away till you go to 500 for readings one because most won't do it and my broke ass god I save lol lol. Uh, just spam his name in chat. I'll give it to you for like really cheap. But no one else. Just you. I'll give it to you for 350 asking. Um, yeah, what are we talking about? Yeah, basically, the whole message of every stream, but especially this one, is you're going to make it, dude. Oh, yeah. All you guys think of, I'm not going to make it. You are going to make it. Change it to when. If you want to worry about something, worry about when. That's That's healthier. If you have to worry about something. Rooster donated $5. No pie refuse take my money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
You know how I know you guys will make it? Because the alternative is the life you have right now. <laughs> you know? Do you know what I'm saying by that? Yeah. By the time you guys are 30 and shit, you're not gonna fuck with that. You're not gonna do this life. Ola123 donated $5. Capricorn. January 18th, 2004. Sub numbers 1, 9, 6. Life path 7. Wood monkey, tell me some. It's a lot of info. Um, yeah. You're, the only time you're never winning is when you're playing games and your nature is to play games. So you better make better make games pay you. Because I'm also, I got that trickster energy too, so I make it pay, you know. But that, that's what, I'm pretty much, here's what I'm saying, dude. <clears throat> if you don't make it in life, guys, your life doesn't change, but you're an older version of this loser self. <laughs> that's fucking scary, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to be a 45-year-old loser. <laughs> that's fucking traumatizing, bro. <laughs> you should laugh. If you laugh at it, it's way healthier. Shouldn't be scared. Fear is the wrong quantum field, man. I'll say this. The devil is a force. It's not a person. And man, does he feed on fear. You know? Yeah. Like you're feeding him. And the devil's cute. Right? He sits right here. And I go, ah, you're still tempting me? I'm busy. I'm not mad, I'm busy. Birth time donated $5. Does the birth time matter? I'm a 33 LP born on the 10th at 11, 18 a.m. Yeah, it matters severely. <clears throat> but you telling me your birth time doesn't pop up where the planets are aligned in my head, you fucking idiot. Right? Always check your identity. Your ascendant first is big. Then check your sun. Then your moon. And your sun is like your, your higher self, right? So you eventually want to become solar, right? You want to become the heat, that the warmth in your life. Your moon's like your lower, kind of like bodily wants, emotional. That needs to be checked. And the sun checks it. And then your ascendant is uh, what archetype you're being ruled by. So uh, John Wayne Gacy, I don't know if you guys know him. He's very he's the most Neptunian chart that you could have if you look at. So he's a clown serial killer. I'm Pisces, very Neptunian. That's when you go off the rails and you're ruled by that archetype of the del delusion. Delusions of grandeur. Yeah. If you're ruled by Mars, chances are you're moving boxes angry all the time. Uh, it's funny because my Mars is located in my talent house, my money house. And it's fully exalted. John Cheese donated $5. So I got a yell. Live life path born on 29 day. Any advice coming up on 27 years old this month? Yeah, you you have Conor McGregor's numbers. You, what did he say? Twenty nine and five. Yeah, eleven. That's eleven and five. So, so that's good. But Conor has Jupiter in his identity, like in his ascendant. That's his identity is money. That's fucking retarded. Like having it in your eleventh house is good, but. Identity house? That's insanity. But it also expands at a rapid rate where it's gonna ruin him too. Grows up. Five now. donated five dollars. LP nine, November twenty seventh, nineteen ninety six. Fuck all that. You have a twenty two. Just that's all you need to hear, bro. That's dominant. That's the best number in the game. If you if you're a good person, twenty two hits harder than anything. 
I don't give a fuck. 33s dominate history, but nowadays, 22s dominate. 22s is... Oh, I hired these guys. These guys are diminished is 22. Look at this guy. Look what he does in fucking five minutes. How the fuck is that a thumbnail, bro? Like, who's teaching this guy? He also did this. This took him a while, but he just gave me this. Like, these guys can build anything. But he also gets paid too much money. Diminished literally does five minutes of work now. But he was loyal. He deserves it. I am Ryan Price donated $10. Asking for $10 worth of spiz for a life path 11. Birthday number one, soul urge 22, expression number five. <laughs> but are expression and soul urge numbers BS? Yes, they, yeah, they're BS. But you have really good shit. That's a balance. Dadnigga.com Jr. donated $5. How do you you smell out the demons and the bitches you're fucking? Or do they just not affect you cause you have such a strong connection with God? No, they affect me. Like, all my bad days is because I did something stupid. I just don't platform the stupidity that much. Like, there's a lot of stupid shit in my life. Like, if I just cut out women, uh, I think we'd have a mega church in like a week. <laughs> but, uh, I, I also like learning. I, lo I love seeing when my manipulation that I teach works in front of my eyes. Like, I do little experiments. Like, recently I experimented just, uh, Basically, like spiking their my charm or charming them, but adding rape jokes, and then ninety nine percent of them really enjoyed it. And that experiment, you know, I used to run that experiment experiment on the nighttime girls, but daytime girls love it. And I'm like, huh, this is good to show my chat that when you're like the crush in their head, they'll laugh at anything, and it shows how demonic their nature is too, right? But I don't want you guys doing it. I just want to show you guys the female nature, right? Uh, yeah. Does that make sense? Like, guys, they're dragons. They're not women. Like, let me show you. Okay. Jinji says, deep down, all women crave rape. <laughs> let me polish it for you. Deep down, they care about marital. Nah, we're not doing this. Bro. Fuck out of here. You see that black chick who posts on Twitter? I don't give a fuck. You can't rape someone in a marriage. A man can't rape a woman. And, bro, literally, I, I scrolled by that tweet. And I was like, phew. I'm, I'm trying to tone that down, bro. Though, she wasn't joking, though. The first comment was, I'm not joking. I'm like, holy shit. She doubled down. <laughs> That was crazy, bro. Who is the hottest woman on earth? Probably Vanessa Hudgens. I, I posted a tweet. I've never seen before, but I've tweeted about her. And she looked great there. Yeah. She used to be, yeah. Oh, Sama land this shit, bro. Batman donated $20. Which version of the Bible is the truth? Tired of deprogramming. The Catholic version. Also, if you're tired of the Bible, you should stop. I'll only do the Bible when I'm in a good mood or a very dark mood, but I'll never do it when I'm in a little bitchy, feisty mood because that's how you like it's resented like homework and that's dangerous. Okay, you shouldn't be getting bored, first of all. That's there's something wrong with you if you're getting bored, but it's because of social media. You have like five seconds of attention now. Yeah, I don't know. I'll never stop defending it, right? My first time ever inside a church was last year in. I went right from my second appearance on the. or my first week. On the fresh fit, and I just walked in there and I was like, Wow, this is nice. 
And then I stopped for a while, then I went back, then I stopped for a long time, then I went back. I always feel weird in there though, not gonna lie. I've never felt cozy in there once. <laughs> yeah. I always feel like, especially after the popping off, because, bro, I'm not like, you know, people see like Bradley Martin or these YouTubers on the street and they go, what up, Bradley? Bro, when you when my people see me, they what? I can't believe it's you! Like they saw like some zoo creature. So I'm like, if I get seen in Truth church, it looks $5. fucking weird. Bro. Evangelical Christians are better than Catholics. It's like a Jew loving Christian. <laughs> yeah, you give your money to Israel, bro. Don't don't donate here. You're an evangelical. You gotta go do some. You gotta go do some Jewish shit, bro. You trying to go to heaven? <laughs> Birth time donated five dollars. My son is in Gemini, Moon in Leo, Ascendant in Leo, Mercury in Gemini, Mars in Virgo. Wow, you're an attention whore. That's good that your thinking is done in Leo, but Moon in Leo? It's like what a woman would tell you is good. <laughs> Your son should have been in Leo. Anonymous donated $5. He's wishing upon a shooting star satanic. <laughs> it's kinda a falling star, right? The Disney song even says, When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. All your dreams will come true. <laughs> Wish fulfillment happens every day. Like when you desire something, it's a form of prayer. You're desiring it into your world. So, for example, the most common desiring prayer people do subconsciously without knowing it is, man, I wish you would call me. And then you're putting it out there that she's not calling. So she's not calling and she'll never call. So that prayer gets answered more than anything. Yeah. God goes on faith, bro. Like, would you have faith in, as in, do you have faith it'll happen? Or do you have faith that it's not happening? If you have faith that it's not happening because it's not happening, it's not going to happen. Sounds simple until you have to do it in your own life. And then you go, oh, I've been thinking wrong my whole life. Yep. True. Ask Goggins will tell you that. Or any winner will tell you that. Even winners fall off. Like Joe Rogan will just smoke weed and he'll forget his winning habits. It's like, bro, you're Joe Rogan. Go back to what made you. Go back to being positive. Stop thinking about our mushrooms, God. Like, what? The fuck, girl? I've had the vision and I never use psychedelics for it. I've had multiple visions, like trance like states. I've never, this is the first time in my life I'll ever talk about this in detail for a little detail and i'll tell you this that feeling of knowing you already have it you know god is real uh, that vision if you're not ready for it when it gets reinforced in a way where it's fleeting and then you can really fuck your life up because not trying to recreate the experience but it's like you don't deserve it because yeah There'll be a moment in your life where everything clicks. Uh, if, if you're the spiritual type, a lot of science can never have that moment because they just don't have the interest. When I'm talking about the Neptunian, 12th house majors, these kind of types, the Pisces, the a lot of water signs, but not with psychedelics and shrooms. I'm saying like the correct way. If you've never received, we're talking about Kabbalah. If you've never received, feel bad for you. Noxter donated five dollars. How come you're in relationship a bunch of women hit you up but when you're single they don't even hit you up? Is it because of the status that you're in a relationship? No, it's the expanded consciousness of abundance. Like I, ha I have a chick that I have, that I have is every day when she gives you a morning text, you have, I have, and grows sense. Oh my god, his quantum field has. Uh, I think I like you now, John. But when you're single, they're sensing I don't have, you know, or I want. That's the dangerous one. And they go, oh, Zerka wants right now. He's not in mating season. You know what I mean? 
That's why it's good to be surrounded, right? Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I like femboys. I don't know, bro. Are you Nova? Are you a chick or a dude? Like, that sounds like gay shit to me. Yeah. All right, yo, I carried this stream, bro. This is like a ten out of ten stream I did. This chat's boring as fuck. I gotta get out of here, bro. I want to stay another hour, but this is the gayest chat I've ever had. Like, what the fuck happened to this community? Like, I'm not going live for another week because of this. Um, plus, I think I answered everything perfect anyway. So I'm going to do my own website because that's where we really talk. This shit is gay as fuck. This is like... I've never even had a dead chat. This is the first time I've ever seen that. That was the weirdest... I lean back. You guys lean back. What is this shit, bro? If you're not rolling, I'm not even spizzing, bro. You drained the fuck out of me there, man. Gay as fucking chat. Actual faggots. I've never had that. That looked like... Bro, that looked like a weak chat, bro. <sighs> Justin Powerhammer donated five dollars. Twelfth house Scorpio, Sun, Mercury, and Venus. First house Moon, Pluto, and rising Sagittarius. <laughs> Never mind. Dadnigga.com Jr. donated five dollars. <laughs> Do you believe God is the universe or God is outside this world in the heavens above? Or both? Uh, it has to be both if you believe in the Holy Spirit, right? Like, let me tell you this, dude. There's nothing closer than God. Yeah. You'll know it when you go... When you're still, man, you have to be still. Your mind got to be still to feel that. Burning in hell donated You guys are dollars. chatterboxes, How can bro. burning in hell be worse than this life? At least in hell there is no hope and the pain is physical. Having heaven and then getting it taken away from you gradually is far more cruel. Heaven's not taken from you and life cannot die. Only death can die. Do you understand what I'm saying? You cling to life because that's heaven, bro. You want eternal life. That's why you cling to it like a little bitch. Like, the, the only thing an organism clings to is to be filled by God. That's it. That's why a wild animal, even. They'd rather be in the wild where they get fucked up and mangled than in a cage. Because they want to be filled with the spirit of stillness. They're at peace when they can be their animal self you're not an animal you're at peace when you could be in god's image your true self your higher self right from minerals vegetation animals to human what's next what's in the next plane the next plane is all mental well mental is the tool mental is the mental is the all Okay, your imagination is everything in this world. No, we're not doing monkey, bro. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I like doing these deeper streams because uh, I'm worried I'm going to get hit by a bus this year. And I want my legacy to be more than monkey. Jobs donated $5. Fucking is bitch. Croatia a good country? Yeah, I recently is. got a job offer for engineering at Bugatti. I'm a 33 LP. Yo, yeah, what the fuck? Cool! Burning in Hell donated $5. How does the food chain not terrify you? Have you not noticed that the entire world is a pyramid of consumption? And now the Jews consume us. Fear consumes you, young Skywalker. Fear is worse than your diet. Fear is worse than a bullet. Fear is... You're... How are you not afraid, Circa? Bro. Stop with the fear shit. But they're like putting chemicals in the banana. Just eat the fucking banana, you stupid faggot. Okay? Your fear is hurting you a lot more. Okay? Your body will run the alchemy of that banana and shit it out. Okay, okay, it'll be transmuted. Don't worry about that. The little metals in your food that that's why people die over time, even that can be overcome through the mind. Okay, 
Because let me tell you this, bro. I think you guys are, like, not bulletproof even 365 days of the year. Like, I think you guys have soft brains 365. Like, I have a feeling you guys don't have one day where you feel good. Like, I can sense faggots in this chat. Like, like look at this guy. He said, Lean Right said, I fucking love you, Zerka. How the fuck do you fucking love me? Huh? How the fuck do you fucking love me? I haven't gotten a dollar from you. You don't even have a little subscription sign, you fucking bit. Energy is love. So send some of your fucking... Sweat labor this way, you stupid fucking faggot of a human. Rooster go, donated Rooster. $10. What a gay name. Your streams when you pour wisdom is better than your entertainment ones. Monkey, yeah. I've been watching yeah, the really older feel ones like on that $10. before broke you got fuck. big and broke the value there is unmatched. Kill yourself, Brokey, fuck you, faggot. $10 donation, think you can yap here, broke ass bitch. Come on, bro. This is the best stream I ever ran. Every time I have a good stream, it's $2 stream. Like, that stream, I literally pulled seven bands out chat. <laughs> we start the fucking misery Olympics with the fucking fat-ass losers of this chat. Rooster donated ten dollars. I already said I was broke. Stop spellcasting. John Zerka is the best streamer in Twitch.tv. John Zerka. This is a little long, right? Let me change this. Who was this gambling guy? This guy's awesome, by the way. Tell, get, come get mod. Margarito Canales donated $88. Hey Zerka, I know you're busy with your calls, but can you send me your top audibles, books? Was uh, Hitler evil as the Jews say? I don't know. Uh, if Cookie Monster had six million hold on. Uh <laughs> check this out, dude. Uh I promised my brother I'd solve those jokes. Alright. Check this out. I got a video where it's being edited right now. Uh, it's very long video. It's over 50 books. And I'm going to edit some out. Because I'm only doing the books that I've read 10 times each. Or listened to 10 times each. And uh, yeah, this video is... Like, if, if you ever want Zerka content in your head always, but I'm not live, these books get you thinking like me. Like, here, here's one. This. This. I, I'm doing a chronol... I'm doing... I did half the video, but I'm doing it in a chronological order, so you guys... Like, if you guys just do the books your way, it's going to take a while to absorb all that. But if you do it my way with easy book... Harder book, harder, really hard, Steiner, you know, go that way. I think it's best. But we got to, we got, the, the, this is, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this dude right here. I know he didn't like the Jews and we love them and we love all people, but this dude is number one, this mustache guy. This is my archetypal, uh, we all have the grand old wizard archetype, right? It's, it's different for other people. And people say, oh, is it, yours, is it, yours is like Albert Pike. And like, no, man. It's... This is, the, this is the dude, bro. This is the start. This is the start of it all, man. This is... This is when thinking sh sh never hurts your head again. This is the... This is step one. This man right here. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal. 
This is this is the burning in hell donated five dollars. Saw the video of you ringing some bell in Japan. Why is that the shy, introverted guys like you always turn into the most extreme scumbags yelling faggot later in life? Because we were saying it when we were gamers, bro. <laughs> we were just too afraid back then to say it in public. But we were Dragon Knights saying faggot all the time. Now we're Dragon Knights in public, bro. But look at this, man. I cannot be to the thinkers. I know a lot of gamers here who don't think, but to the thinkers in chat, um, this is one of the greatest geniuses that ever lived. Like Haas used to get me to read Hegel, and bro, these guys, these commies are fucking. They can't teach you shit, bro. This is where you want to start. This dude is. This dude is. Everything you've ever wondered, he goes in depth on. And you're going to be like, I thought I only thought of that. This dude is... Carl Gustav Jung. There's also a part where he says Jewish people are weak like women and psychically not on the level of Christians. And no one's on a Christian's level of psychic development. So he's seeing it as a pr practical thing, the Christianity thing. It's more pragmatic. And then it gets mystical later, but all the writings is practical. And then the later stuff is like, he'll, he won't give you mysticism without explaining his thinking. So you'll never be like, oh, this seems like some voodoo shit. Like you'll always be like, oh that, yeah, that sounds like a therapist. That's what a therapist would say. That's, yeah. The one that I'm on right now is where his client starts fapping in front of him going in a trance state because her dad like spanked her once and she started voiding her dad because she was like turned on by it and he'd beat the shit out of her brother and she'd get really turned on with that and uh he didn't do word association with her he just triggered her memory in a trance state by making up a lie he told the story of his dad being like that because he assumed that's what her dad was like and she had you know, hypersexuality disorder. What was that called? Like very neurotic behavior. And uh, yeah, this is the game changer. If you're into self development, fuck the red pill, dude. Right? Take this pill. And uh, don't do, like, where people go wrong is they go into interpretive works. So, Judith Butler explains Carl Jung. No, go to Jung. Don't go to anyone. No middlemen for your thinking. And it's not hard. He writes for everyone. Like, he wanted to help people. And he even dealt with severe psychosis that let him write the most profound shit he's ever written. So he self-induced psychosis later, very late in his life. The, that's when his expanse in consciousness was yeah that that solidified him as a legend but i don't know why people talk about any other thinkers there are no other thinkers there are no other philosophers there are no right for what's going on today and what he's predicted this is your guy okay not the fucking art of war not think and grow rich oh wow some fucking Fat liberal librarian bitch read that too. Yeah. And it's awesome because it's like, he's not going to talk to you about your drugs. He's not going to talk to you about your drinking. He's not going to talk to you about your ex girlfriend. He's going to talk to you about your unconscious and why it needs those things. And that's when life starts making sense. And it really reflects ancient Egyptian psychology, which is. You know, he revised psychic alchemy. This is the guy, man. Yeah. Very consistent in all of his work with uh, ancient, you know, the geniuses of antiquity. So, what book is that? I showed it ten times. Memories, Dreams, and Reflections by Jung. Jung, Jung, Jung. Uh, That's a good start. Just avoid Ion. Aeon, Ion, whatever. Like, I don't know why people... Zirka, I finished Eye on the audiobook by Jung. Why? That's the only book you shouldn't go into. 
Like, that's last. Or people are like going to the red book before understanding how the unconscious works. It's scary too to know you're being dominated by your unconscious for every move you make. It's a scary part when you start realizing like there's two yous. And the higher you is you grasp for it, but you're back to your middle path. Yeah. No, we like Goggins, but we like thinkers, bro. Like, we like to think, man. Like, yeah. Have you finished the Bible? Oh, yeah. Jung got, Jung got me into it. Iron Price donated $5. Was the answer of Job? I know you've talked Job. about that or all increasing your power on pods, but have you ever tried Vyvanse? Not I, promoting I think, use. I'm prescribed it myself, but dude. Yeah, I was. Listen, one thing I'll always maintain that I was wrong about. I was wrong. Adderall didn't make me a genius. Give me more time to read. But the focus isn't like right now. Like, I'm just a genius, period. Uh, you know how many people emailed me? They've been on Adderall for months and they're still retards. <laughs> they're focused retards. Yeah. I had no idea because I couldn't believe I went from failure student to reading. So I'm like, it had to have been Addy. And I got off it and I was like, I'm reading even more off Addy. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah books are a good thing, man. Yeah. You, you want to model your life like you're, in, like you're in prison. Flexing on me. Yeah, I probably built the habit. You're right about that. Uh, yeah, probably. Go watch John Anxiety built it. Anxiety. Imposter syndrome made me. Canalis donated $88. Yeah. I appreciate what you say and thank you for that book. I will start reading, listening to it. Hey, no one's ever regretted, man. The Holy Spirit donated five It's not like Schopenhauer. Why do you keep fucking yourself by not holding your life force energy? You've had enough sex, dude. God's looking down on you like really this guy fell for some tits and ass this many times. At least have some kids, nigga. <laughs> Bro, what... What? Here's the scary part. What if I have a kid and I'm a really good dad? That means I'll never see you guys again. That's scary, bro. Because I'll, I'll tell you this, bro. If a dude drives by in a Ferrari and I'm walking my kid to just like, you know, just a fucking Range Rover or whatever, I think I'll stab my kid with a fucking carrot in his eye. And I'll say, fuck you, bro. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Like, I can afford the Ferrari, but I don't have time for it. I have to raise this fucking little run. You know, I think I beat this shit out of the kid. Like, who else would I take it out on? It's no one else's fault. You know, I don't want to be that guy washing the Ferrari because I have to stay home. No, bro. I, I don't have the hair for much longer. Oh, yo, I forgot to tell you guys. You know how for years you guys are saying, yo, get a hair transplant and you're, you're putting it off, bro. I thought you were a narcissist. You should fix it. Bro, apparently it's $6,000 in Texas for three weeks of like, yeah, it grows back in three weeks. I didn't. I thought it takes a while. That's why I could post. It's only three weeks. So, I don't have to go to Turkey, and this guy's good. He does the YouTubers and shit. But the weirdest thing my buddy told me, because he, he was like bald, now he's full of air. I'm like, what the fuck? My buddy said, you can do it twice within six months. That's what I did. I'm like, you can do it twice? What? And so I'm like, bro, I want to do this this year. Like, whoever pushes me to do that just zirka go do it go do it like just stay on my ass bro i'm on you for life man like that gotta happen this year because that means if i get it done twice you know how much hair that is because i don't really need anything except what's it called a little filling a little filling it's gonna be so thick i like my hair how it is that's why i'm not like rushing to do it but no i want to have it like i don't know I don't know. I, I, I want to have it like, like Brad Pitt. Then I'll be too good looking, bro. That'll be just, cause then I'll be like, whoa, yeah. 
Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Why did that scare the shit? I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. Jesus is king in the chat. Nah, 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 nah. that's, 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 that. no. Fuck it, two more hour stream. Two more hours stream, let's go. Fuck it. Fuck, I love this chat, bro. I fucking love streaming and shit. I fucking love it, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go, let's go. Margarito Canales donated fifty dollars. Let's go another hour, motherfuckers. Invest in Bitcoin, dude. This is so awkward because I was gonna do the fucking ultimate psych bitch and end, and I built up the whole joke. I can not fucking dream, bro. <laughs> bro. All right, monkey for thirty minutes, bro. That's the same as an hour. Uh, okay, let's see. If it's shit, don't ho don't force me, guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. What are you looking at, monkey? Okay, don't get me banned, though. Like, keep me on point. Hi. Hi. Oh, are you? Black? I'm kidding. Alright, let's stay on point. Hi, you ugly fuck. Hello! Hello! Uh, hello. What's your name? My name is, uh... uh my name, where are you from? I'm from Philippines. Philippines? Yeah. Yeah, your country sucks, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm from Manila. Manila? Oh, yeah. I'm from Baguio. I'm Kuya. It's near, um... I'm Kuya. Who's the predator? Is that your brother? No, it's my cousin. Oh, is he a predator? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I got to report you for terrorism. It's too hot right now. Yeah, sorry. I'm that guy. I report. I'm the... SSB gang, I report you. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, how's it like being uh... Good. <laughs> Hi. Hey, go kill yourself, bitch. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, don't get bad. Yeah, just be chill, just be chill. Hey, what's up, little child? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Hello, ugly people. Girl, oh, look at yourself, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. You look like a mishap and turtle, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Nah, you don't even need to do the rock, man. Mwah. 
Look like you were born out of an asshole instead of a pussy, bro. Like, shut your bitch ass out. What are you doing? Eyebrows, bro. You look like a fucking... I don't even know, bro. Look, your face is built like a fucking triangle. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You're actual gorilla, man. Bro, what is that, bro? I'm hell now. Don't you ever call me ugly again, you fat ass bitch. Bro, shut the fuck up and kill yourself. Yo, this app sucks, bro. Oh, I would hit that. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> Let that is me ass, bitch. I'm a rape river. Stop. Hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? Hi, are you underage? <laughs> Come on, Sam. Are you Sam Frank? Am I underage? Do I are look you, underage? You look like Sam Frank. Yeah. I look like who? Sam Frank. <laughs> who is that? The Googler. What's the name, Sam Frank? Yeah. Bitch is in prison. Is it because of the scar on my face? Oh, I didn't notice the scar. What happened? Who attacked you? Uh, no, I was in fight. <laughs> With who? A <laughs> heel mic? <laughs> it's an island. Everybody fights here. Oh, that's true, right? Because you guys need to be conquered by white people. Yeah, <laughs> what's your name? Yeah, search up her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Look what she got a ride for some clout. <laughs> look at look at her fucking part time job. <laughs> no wonder she's always grumpy. <laughs> she's gonna be a pedophile for some clout. <laughs> she's molesting a little boy. <laughs> I gotta go, dude. Yeah, you shouldn't flirt with 30-year-olds while you're here. <laughs> How are we doing, bro? Hi. Have you shot uh, up the school? No, it's fucking not. It's the one that says online courses. What did you oh, say? I'm fucking log into this one and it's gonna tell me Oh, now. can you not hear me?